Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome on in! Welcome on in! Good to have all of you on this Wednesday. Hopefully everyone is uh, is hyped, because that was what the countdown was, was counting down towards, to become hyped. So I hope that that worked, and that everyone is indeed currently hyped. Because if so, then we can do our second countdown, which is the countdown to actually properly start the stream. I know, I know, it may may seem like a lot of countdowns, um, but it's 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 a test. It's something new that I'm testing today, because I always felt like you know, like I think the people who have come here for a while now, they all know that "Kill It Anyway" is is the song that that starts the stream, the song that you hear just before you hear my soothing voice. Um, but people who might come in, they're like, they have no idea. So that's why I figured, you know, let's just make a second countdown. So those people know that in 2 minutes and 50 seconds, you will indeed hear my my soothing voice. So yeah, there we are. I'm not sure if I if I like the placement of it, but you know, I just I literally just created it before the stream. So um, yeah, here we are. Here we are. Anyway, let's start the actual countdown chat. Let's do it. And let's have a good time today. Yeah, the countdown to the countdown. The countdown to the countdown. Yes, exactly. Exactly. We have a Dutch television network that always likes to count down as well, so I kind of feel like them, but, you know, higher quality. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Good evening and good time zone to all of you. How is everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Drillicious. Welcome to the stream on this... What is it? Wednesday? Wednesday, July... July 7th. Where are we? Over there. July 7th, 2021. Hello. Delta, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Good to see you. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. And hopefully you are doing fine as well. I think it works so far. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I just created it before the stream. Um, so, I, you know, I, I quickly had to put it together and make sure that it all worked. Um, 
But then, you know, I, I, I need to tweak it and maybe change the positioning a little bit or maybe change the colors or do something with it. But yeah, I thought it was it, I thought it wasn't too bad. Which networks can down? Well, if you are, I mean, I don't watch it too often, but if you are familiar with TV shows on the SBS network, um, you might realize or you might notice that they do a lot of counting down in their shows. They always like to count down before the show start. Um, Maybe not not anymore, but like there used to be a lot of shows that they did where they did a lot of counting down. So I kind of feel like them. <laughs> it's a hot day in here in New York, but not so bad. Watching yourself and an artist friend simultaneously. Nice. Nice. So um, without, you know, like, please do not dox yourself or like, please do not, you know, reveal your location. But just curious, I, do you li do you mean New York City or New York State? Um, because, of course, that is, you know, like a slight difference. Um, it is a, a relatively hot day here as well. I got one window open because it is pretty um, it is pretty hot today, um, which is uh, you know I, I mean I normally I like I like warmer temperatures and I like sunshine. It wasn't too sunny today, like a little bit, but then also like kind of clouds. Um, but it was also very humid, and I'm I'm gonna I have to say I don't necessarily like like the humidity. I, I'm not a big fan of that. So I like warm weather, but not with like you know the high humidity. Um, so yeah, and also one thing that my body suddenly developed, I guess, if you will, uh, and I'm not too happy with it, I kind of hate it, but just saying, um, is that all of a sudden my eyebrows start sweating. Yeah, I don't know why, but all of a sudden when like, you know, temperatures are higher, my eyebrows start to sweat and I'm kind of, it's super annoying, especially when I'm, you know, since I'm wearing glasses. Um, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like, I'm, I can't say that I'm, I'm too fond of it, no. Does your body develop fur? No, I, well, I mean, that would have, I mean, well, I'm not sure if I would like that per se, but at least then I would, you know, look more like my, my, my furry side or my puppy side. But no, no, it, my, it, it gave me sweaty eyebrows. <laughs> not sure if, not sure if that is like, you know, TMI. Um, if so, then I do apologize. But um, yeah, it's, it's a thing, chat. It's a thing and it's annoying and I don't like it. But yeah, here we are. Here we are. Uh, New York State countryside is real nice this time of year. Nice. Nice. So I've been to New York City and, and while we did drive, I guess, to New York State, because we did actually go to both Washington and Boston and we actually drove back by car from Boston. So I think we also, you know, drove through New York State. Um, I actually liked New York City because when we were there a couple of years ago, it was actually like 30 degrees Celsius, which is what is that? Like 80 something Fahrenheit, I guess. Um, most of the time that we were there and it was actually kind of lovely. You know, it was still pretty. It was still pretty nice. So I, I liked it. Uh, I just wanted to ask uh, Delta Husky to send all the heat uh, over here because it's not really hot here. Yeah, so we don't really have a lot of summer, to be honest. Like, that's basically like a Dutch summer for you, I guess. It comes and we have like one or two weeks of like in increased um, temperatures and all that kind of stuff. And then after that, you know, it's kind of hoping that you get more. But usually it's uh, the weather gods are like, you know what? Hey, you've had your fun. Now stop complaining, and here's your typical Dutch weather with wind and rain and all that kind of stuff. Here it is again. So stop complaining, you've had your summer. That was your two weeks of summer for this year. So, um, yeah, I guess that's that's basically what we are in now. Although we, you know, we had we have had some better temperature days last couple of weeks, but also a lot of rain and high humidity. So, um, yeah, yeah, can't say that I'm I'm too fond of that. To be honest, I mean, I, I still want to go work out, like go outside for a run or anything like that. But I don't necessarily like running in like I don't necessarily love running in like higher temperatures. But at least if it's just higher temperatures, then I can deal with that. But then also higher temperatures and then humidity. I don't like that. I can't I can't run because then I just get out of breath easily. So I haven't run in like a month, I guess. And I hate it. So I hope that, you know, these one of these days I can go out again and enjoy a nice run. Um, not in the cold, but like in not as humid weather, I guess, if you will. Um, so, so yeah. Zephyr, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Good to see you. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you are doing good as well. And it's good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. I love these. I love this new playlist. It's a, um, so I didn't know that was actually a term. So my, I usually, I used to always play lo-fi music. Um, but now there is a new um, stream safe hi-fi playlist and I was like, wait, is that a joke? Is it, you know, is it a joke that it's called hi-fi instead of lo-fi? But I'm guessing it's a thing and I kind of like it. I'm, I'm honestly am in in love with this hi-fi music. Um, so yeah, also Zephyr, thanks so much for the host. I saw someone else hosting earlier as well. Let's scroll back. Martin, thank you for the host as well. 
Um, let's see, did I miss anyone else that was hosting? I don't think so. Well, everyone else that was hosting and that added me to like their auto host list, I appreciate you all as well, of course, even though you aren't being shouted out in my um, in my chat, I, I still very much appreciate you hosting the channel um, for, you know, for your community. So thank you. Hi-fi. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure if it's like an official term or anything, but, you know, of course, we, ha we have lo-fi music and I guess hi-fi music is basically the same as lo-fi, but with higher energy or something. Um, so, yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> so hopefully everyone is doing OK. Welcome on in. Good to have you. Thanks for stopping by on this Wednesday stream. Um, I have a uh, well, it's not necessarily I'm not sure if it's like an announcement or more just something that I want to say. Um, but lately I've kind of, you know, I've been I've been working on like, you know, growing the stream and stuff like that. And I've been trying different things. And um, I feel that, you know, I, I, I have a hard time still to, you know, grow the channel and, and, and make sure that, you know, more I, more more members join the community and stuff like that. Um, and today I was talking to a good friend of mine who was um, who actually gave me the tip that, um, you know, maybe try using my rig a little bit more often because now, you know, the nowadays I don't necessarily have like a set schedule for it. I kind of just use it whenever, um, even though, you know, I try to stick to a Wednesday. I don't always do that, um, but I, I kind of want to try using my my rig, my avatar a little bit more often. I know that a lot of people also like use like my face cam, so that's definitely not going to go away. It's not going to be like 100 um, percent like, you know, Brooklyn that's going to do the thing. Um, but I might do it like, you know, maybe like two days of the week instead of one, uh, I'm going to use my rig. And it's also a little bit dependent on like the games that we play, because, um, well, as some of you might know, uh, if I play, for instance, a Red Dead Redemption with my with my with my avatar, then my PC is kind of like, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So uh, it's kind of dependent on the games. But the, the good thing is, like, I think Wolf Among Us, it while it's a Telltale game and the Telltale engine isn't the best so that's, I mean, we kind of have to see how that's going to work, but I'm I'm, I'm hoping we, we're fine. Um, but of course, next week is also the release of Skyward Sword HD, which is on Nintendo Switch. And well, since the game plays on Nintendo Switch, uh, I don't think it's going to use a lot of CPU. So that's that's perfect. So, um, yeah, I hope you can you guys can expect to see a little bit more of Brooklyn in the coming weeks, just as I'm trying to see, like, you know, if that works. And um, yeah, maybe maybe that. I don't know, maybe maybe that helps and, and maybe that does something. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind. Also, do I see the amazing, the wonderful Sir Avalanche Gaming? Welcome on in. I'm here to say hi and that I'll be lurking. Love you so much. Keep being wonderful, amazing and never stop smiling. Well, that was my that's me smiling. See. And thank you. Thank you. And you are also Amazing and wonderful and awesome and cute, cute chat. Just gonna have to say that Ava is cute. Even though they might, you know, they might disagree. Don't listen to them because they are. CPU is, is an important thing too. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm slow. I'm kind of happy to see that slowly. It seems that GPU prices are going down, which is nice. I like that. So let's hope that it stays that way and it keeps going down. You know, like even further. Um, but yeah, until that time, um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to keep an eye on like the games that we, that, that I play in terms of, you know, can I use my rig or not? Capture cards seem to take processing load of the PC compared to native PC gaming. Yeah. Like, I mean, of course, you know, basically the only thing that the capture card does is take my switch signal and show it to my monitor, I guess. And well, also to OBS, of course, but like, you know, it takes a lot of load off. So like, if we're going to play Skyward Sword HD, um, that's going to be perfect. GPU follows uh, the Bitcoin price. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't follow Bitcoin news too much, to be honest, because I'm not really like into Bitcoin and I, yeah, I don't necessarily like Bitcoin or anything. But I saw that a fancy, a notorious Bitcoin billionaire died, apparently passed away a couple days ago or like recently. I don't know exactly when. Um, but now, apparently, his Bitcoin fortune also died with him because, uh, you know, you need to have like a code or like a wallet or like something, some kind of authentication to get to your Bitcoin. And people don't know if he left that behind after his passing. So I thought that was kind of interesting, you know, like imagine someone dying and then their digital fortune dying with them. Um, but I don't know what like what the follow up uh, follow up uh, is on that. 
maybe people found the code or maybe what people were able to access his fortune. I have no idea. Um, but I was wondering if that would kind of disrupt the market a little bit because apparently they said, I saw this article and people said that they that he actually had so much money that, you know, like he, he owns like, I don't know, like a big part, a big chunk of, um, you know, the Bitcoin that are out there. So yeah, I wonder what that's going to do. Like imagine if, I don't know, like if, if some suddenly, you know, Jeff Bezos would die and his money is in somewhere in a safe and no one can access it. So basically you have like billions of dollars that are not in the market anymore. They are basically just gone, vanished. They're not, you know, they don't exist anymore. What would happen? I don't know. I wonder what would happen if something like that were to go down. Um, so yeah. I am cute, but only because I learned that from you. Oh, well, I'm not cute. So, you know, people keep saying that, but it's not true. It's not true. But thank you. Germany GPU prices are dropping. Yeah, I also see that over here, like I, I like you know a thirty seventy, which usually um, you know it w usually went for like fifteen hundred euros over here, which is insane. Uh, you can now get it for like nine hundred and fifty, which is still too much, but it's definitely less than it used to be. So I'm hoping, hoping that maybe like in the next couple of months, you know, it might go down to like eight hundred, maybe seven hundred, you know, something like that. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, I'll, I guess we'll see. Um, maybe I do need to keep an eye on the Bitcoin market because maybe if Bitcoin starts to go up again, then maybe these GPU prices go up with it and then I'm too late. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they can find the key on his computer. Yeah, well, that's apparently the thing. Like you have like, I don't know exactly. Again, I don't know how that works, how Bitcoin all works, but apparently you have like this key or this special thing that you use to access your account and nobody has it. So yeah, interesting. If, if the Bitcoin is burned, there will be less Bitcoin left, so the price goes up. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I don't know. Like an authentication token, yeah. Like, you know, you, like you have on, you know, your, your, your PC, you have like a password. I guess Bitcoin also has that, but like usually in the form of a physical, like USB device or something. Um, which, which, you know, technically you can also get for websites, but I don't think a lot of people have that. <laughs> so yeah. But then again, you know, like I think I think just having the device is not enough. I think you need to have like either a password or like maybe fingerprint or like something like that to, you know, decrypt it or something. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, like I said, I just saw the news and I, I was like, wow, that's interesting. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, anyway, hopefully everyone is doing good on this Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, how was everyone's Wednesday so far? And how was everyone's Tuesday? Because obviously I wasn't live yesterday, so hopefully everyone had a nice Tuesday as well. Um, I did have a not so great Tuesday. Uh, I had a bit of a bad mental health day yesterday. Um, so, you know, that's th th those happen. And um, I don't know, I don't always talk about it too much because I don't want to bring the mood down. But I, you know, I do want to say that, you know, of course, um, which goes for, I think, everyone, uh, you know, sometimes you have bad days, sometimes you have good days, and then sometimes you have bad days in terms of, of mental health. And uh, yeah, yeah, I had one of those uh, yesterday. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It sucks. Uh, it, you know, it's it's not good. But, you know, all you can do is just kind of keep going and, and, and try to, uh, whoa, whoa, while I do a dab, try to get, you know, snap out of it. Um, I did have a good talk yesterday as well with with uh, my friend uh, Rod Shark, who you might know as also a fellow streamer. Um, you know, I had a good talk with them and, uh, you know, they actually helped me, you know, get a little bit out of that negative state, uh, which was nice. You know, I, I was able to help them with something, but then they also uh, maybe, you know, without them knowing, um, but they definitely also helped me a lot by, um, yeah, just just talking to me and just kind of taking my mind off of things. So that was nice. I like that. I like that. And then today I actually feel a lot better. Um, and and yeah, you know, days like that will always, you know, days like that will always still be around. But um, yeah, I, I hope that good days are more prevalent than, than bad days. But today was a good day. The day I, I finished uh, my video that I actually filmed yesterday, despite me not being, you know, doing great. Uh, but I filmed the video yesterday. I made something new for the Kofi shop as well. Um, and uh, should I should I say what it is? Shall I? I mean, it's it's more it's mostly for streamers. So if you are a streamer, it might be interesting to you. But uh, I made just a small little thing. Uh, so it's not like something super fancy or amazing, but it's a small thing. Um, 
and it's uh, it's gonna be for Leo on board and I filmed or uh, edited the video today it's rendered so I need to uh, upload it tomorrow and make the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff and then it can go live um so yeah I'm excited for that if you want to see the video by the way I mean you can you might be able to get like a sneak pre a sneak preview of the video you can actually go to my Twitter account because I posted an image of the entire video the entire video in one image is up on my Twitter account. So if people are like, wait, what? I need to see that. Then go there, drop a follow, and, and you can see my latest video before anyone else can see the thing in one image. Yeah, it's it's like magic, chat. It's like magic. Um, speaking of Twitter, speaking of Twitter, that's actually a nice segue. Um, so today, I found something funny on the internet and I just had to share that because I thought it was so funny. Um, so I sometimes, you know, sometimes how you go into like one of those, um, like, you know, I, I like to call them Wikipedia rabbit holes. You know, you go to Wikipedia to look up something and then you see like a link to another article. You click that and then you go to yet another one. And you kind of keep clicking and clicking and clicking and learning and discovering more things. And you kind of fall into that rabbit hole. Um, well, today I did nothing like that. But, you know, maybe comparable. I um, I, I, I subscribe to someone on, on, on Twitch. And, you know, when you do that, you always get like this this um, invoice in your mail with like, hey, you subscribe to this person. This is what you paid and blah, blah, blah. But at the top of the invoice is actually Twitch's address because it's like an official quote unquote invoice. Um, so I was like, oh, you know what? I've never actually looked up. Um, I never actually looked up the, the, the HQ of Twitch. So I saw the address of Twitch. I was like, you know what? Let's just go to... Google Maps, Google Street View, because I'm kind of curious what Twitch's HQ looks like. I had no idea. Uh, so I did that. Uh, and then um, I was in, you know, we were in, in San Francisco in the streets and I saw this. Why is it doing that? Well, here we go. I saw this. I saw these people in front of Twitch's HQ protesting. Um, and I was kind of like, OK, OK, you know what? Actually, you know what? Actually, let's just go there. Um, let's just go to, uh, let, let's quickly go back here before I dox myself. Um, I'm going to show you live. Maybe that's even better. Um, let's see. What was it? 324 Bush Street in San Francisco. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here we are. Um, so this is Twitch's HQ. This building over here. It's surprisingly small. Uh, I'm like, wow, this is not that big. I, I mean, you know, you have this giant building next to it. I don't think that's Twitch. I think it's literally just this, you know, block here next to this sort of, you know, temp Greek temple over here. But this is the building. And then I saw these people. I was like, wait, are they? Because they are clearly holding a sign, like a protest sign. So I was like, wait, are they protesting Twitch? Are they on their way to a protest? And then they were like, oh, look at that. It's Twitch's HQ. Let's have a look at what that is. I like, you know, what are they? What's going on? What are they? They have a dog with them. What are they protesting? There's only three people. So, I mean, it's not like a huge thing. So I went, you know, I went to go a little bit further. I was also kind of curious for these boxes. Like, you know, what are these boxes doing here? Why are they here? But that's, I guess, a different thing altogether. But I couldn't see their signs, obviously. Like, you can't really see their signs. Although I just now see that you might be able to see it in the, uh, in the reflection. But I was, I was kind of going, you know, further and further and kind of like, okay, wait, can we see what's on their signs and I couldn't see it I couldn't see it right so I was intrigued I was like I want to know why are these people here seemingly protesting Twitch's HQ right so I went the other way I went the other way and then I turned around wait no one further I turned around and I saw it I saw what they were protesting can you see it can you see it what they, what, what it says Trans tag now. That's that's what they're protesting for. They want a trans tag on Twitch. Well, I don't know when this is. Can we see when this was taken? Wait, May 2008? No, wait. This is taken March 2021. So March of uh, this year. So like three months ago. Wait, is it three? Four months ago. Four months ago. This was taken. Um, well, I mean, I'm not sure if their protest helped a lot, but clearly they've gotten what they wanted because, um, yeah, well, good for them. We now have a trans tag on Twitch and, you know, like, I think 300 other tags as well. Um, but yeah, their protest worked. I don't know if they did it. I don't know who they are, but, you know, if they are seeing this, maybe they could be proud of themselves because they they maybe inadvertently helped 
get a trans tag on Twitch. But I thought that was funny. Also, I like I love the um, you know, the neighborhood. Look at this. I mean, I wouldn't mind working in Twitch's HU, even though it doesn't seem super big. I mean, this seems like a common area or like a cafeteria. Um, I kind of like, you know, what they have in the window. You're already one of us. One thing that I'm sort of missing, which would be kind of cool, if they would have like, you know, screens up here with just, you know, random streamers as live streams actually playing on those streams. I mean, how awesome would that be? You know, you're walking past and then you could say like, hey, look at me. I am actually on display. My stream is on display in the window of Twitch's HU. How awesome would that be? I don't know. I feel that they should do that. But okay, maybe that's just me. But I kind of like the environment. Like, look at this. Look at this neighborhood. Isn't it beautiful? You got Sam's Tavern. You got like this bank or, like you know, like the uh, San Francisco Cure Exchange. I'm not sure what they are exchanging. Cures. Do they have a cure for, you know, COVID? I don't know. Oh, wait. No, wait. Does it say cure? Curb. Okay, wait. Are they exchanging curbs? Hey, listen. I'm going I'm to get this piece of curb. Uh, but then I want that one in exchange. And then they're like, yeah, you know what? I can't give you this. But I can give you this one. Which is better because it has parking meters on top of it. I'm like, okay, okay, well, if you're not gonna give me the one with the pothole over there, I'm gonna give you this piece of curb with, you know, like this sort of circular whatever it is. And the traffic, the, the, the light. You can have the light. You know, this piece of curb for yours with the parking meter. I, I guess that's what they're doing at the curb exchange. I mean, I don't know what else. I don't know what else they would be doing. Um, so, yeah. But this is, this is basically my, you know, this sometimes is basically my Wikipedia rabbit hole. It's, it's like my Google Maps rabbit hole. I love to go to other cities all over the world and kind of just, you know, find places and just kind of look around the neighborhood and yeah, just explore and, and explore places that I've never been to before. Uh, it's kind of something I love doing. That's why I loved um, GeoGuessr so much because it's basically just that. It's literally dropping you somewhere in the world and you have to find out where you are and i think it's beautiful i think it's awesome especially since i was talking to some friends of mine about this especially since i live in a city that is nothing like this we don't have any high rise we don't have any like massive office buildings there's nothing like that over here um, and even in like my country where i live there's not a lot of like you know like cities like this i guess um so yeah, I don't know. I always kind of like going to big cities and get that big city feel, big city vibe, if you will. Um, because, you know, we I, we don't really have that here. So yeah. Um, Rad Chubba, how are you doing? Welcome in. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. My nearest big city is Manchester. Liverpool is close too. So wait, but do you live in a big city yourself as well? Without, of course, you know, doxing your own location, but... Uh, or are you also living in like a smaller city, but then like, you know, you, you don't have anything like, I mean, I'm still scrolling through, um, what is it, San Francisco. I mean, look at this. I love this. This is awesome. I would love to walk here um, and just kind of explore, you know, the neighborhood with all these giant buildings. Like I said, we have nothing like that over here. Um, not country, not city, just suburbs. Small. You live in a small town? Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, same here. Like, it's not... You know, it's not like a like a super small town and we have like a city center and whatever, but it's not like it's not like a massive it's nothing like nothing like this. I live in nothing and there's nothing like this close to where I live either. Um so yeah, I live in like the south of my country, and I think like at, at like the the western side and like a little bit up north you have like bigger cities. Um But yeah, it's it's uh it's not as big as as like, you know, what is it, San Francisco or New York City. So, yeah, I don't know. I always like going to cities like this, like Paris. And, well, I love New York, obviously. Boston was also, well, different. Boston was different, like, than this, obviously. Um, and, like, Washington was also different than something like this. But um, San Francisco is definitely a city I would love to go to at one point as well. I think it's also a beautiful city. Um, I've never been there, but I would love to go. I would love to go. Um, so, yeah. We're bringing it home. Wait, soccer? I don't follow soccer chat. How is the Euro Championship doing? Did someone win? Is someone gonna win? I mean, I'm sure someone is gonna win, but like, is uh, who is who is poised to win the thing? Because I I literally I don't want to kick anyone's shins. No pun intended, because we're talking about soccer. But um, I literally couldn't care less for soccer or you know like Euro Championships or anything like that. Like the Netherlands was playing, didn't know that. I, well, first of all, I didn't even know it was this year. Like, I had no idea. And then all of a sudden, you know, you have, like, all these orange 
um, things going up all over the country. And I'm like, oh, wait, maybe there's like a soccer event happening anytime soon. Um, but I think the Netherlands didn't really make it that far. So we were kind of, you know, disqualified or we lost, I think, pretty quickly, I guess. Um, but again, I couldn't care less. I, I really don't care. The car with worldwide services. We do also have that here. I mean, yeah, some of these things we obviously... I mean, I also saw Starbucks and I saw some other shops that we have over here. Um, I didn't see an Apple store, though, like where I was in like the area that I was in now. I did see a Nike shop, which we also... I think we have one in Amsterdam, but um, yeah. I'm in northwest of England. England are in the semifinals now. They played Denmark today. Oh, okay, okay. Well, good luck to you if, if any one of you is following it or like excited. Good luck. Um, if anything, I hope you guys win. I hope you guys win because I, I don't really, you know, I don't really care who wins. But if I have to choose, then, you know, England, you know, England might be OK of, of winning. I, I wouldn't mind. The Netherlands is hosting the soccer event. Wait, they are. Wait, but I thought it was in. Wasn't it in like Hungary or like, wasn't it in like. No, no, no. Wasn't it in like this, this. Where is it even taking place? I have no idea. But I thought it was like in, in Hungary because it wasn't there like this new gay law, this LGBT law in Hungary that they were um, host that they were kind of doing. And then I, I heard people that wanted to protest that at the soccer event. And then first they were like, no, you can't do that. And then they were like, yeah, sure, you can do that because freedom of speech. Um, so, yeah, I have no idea where it's even being held. Uh, they held the matches all over, but the finals will be at Wembley in the UK. Oh wait, so it's being held all over the all over Europe? Oh wow, isn't that isn't that like a hassle? Isn't that like the worst in terms of logistics? Or is that is that always how that works? Again, I have no idea. I don't follow soccer at all. I have no idea how these things work. Is it usually that they do it like all over? It's not ideal when you can't travel. Well, yeah, well that, but also, well, I mean it's one time zone, so I guess that helps. Um, I was thinking like also, you know, these players, they have to play their matches and then they need to take some time out. But, you know, then they also have to travel. So, you know, it's not ideal, but obviously it's the same time zone, more or less. So it's not that you have like jet lag or something when you need to travel to your next venue. Oh, but you know what? OK, you know what? Wow, I feel silly. I feel like a dum dum because now something starts to make sense. Now I finally understand something. So what I was saying, I think it was Hungary that was, you know, having this um, new LGBT law, like anti-LGBT law that was, you know, that's being in, in their country. Um, and I heard that people wanted to protest that at the soccer event. But then also, like in a couple of days later, I heard that in Germany, they wanted to, you know, showcase like, you know, a rainbow colored lights over a stadium where they were playing. And I was kind of like, but wait, why are they doing that in Germany? When the event is taking place in Hungary, I didn't. I, I was like, why? Why is Germany gonna light up a stadium when there's no players there? I didn't get it. But now it makes sense. They might have. They actually probably were playing there because you know they they play all over. Wow, I feel like such a dum dum. I feel yeah. Wow, wow. This I guess this is like the exact you know example of how much I care about soccer and like the entire Euro championships and all that. I didn't even know where it was being held. Um, yeah, I, I, I honestly had no idea. I feel so dumb. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, I appreciate that I'm still being called a good boy, even though I'm, I'm you know, a little a little bit of a dum dum. <laughs> Although in my defense, am I a dum dum when I just don't care about something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I necessarily am, but maybe I am. I don't know. Um. All right. But yeah, if anyone is watching, um. Well, I hope your team wins. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. And I don't care who wins. Oh wow! I. I <laughs> it's. I feel that maybe my tweet was. Um, my tweet may have been a little bit um, uh, ambiguous because I think a lot of people I saw someone commenting on on my tweet and like someone in my chat here earlier like, hey, are you going to play Among Us? I think my my tweet was kind of, um, well, maybe misleading. Maybe it's clickbait. People coming in except expecting to see Among Us and then I'm not actually playing Among Us. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't think of that. It's but it's the game that we're gonna play is literally called The Wolf Among Us. It's not. I didn't make it up. It's not a clickbaity. It's literally the title of the game. I can't help it. I didn't come up with that title. 
Um, I was surprised that it was this year and I was thinking the World Championship was this year, but this year is a delayed European Championships. Ah. Well, I'm also kind of surprised low-key that, you know, we have uh, the Olympics this year because, you know, COVID is still very much a thing. I, st I think also, especially in Japan, it's still very much a thing. So I'm kind of surprised that they were like, you know what? Like, yeah, let's just do that. Why not? Let's just let's just host athletic people from all over the world in one tiny location of the country. Let's host them all and then let them, you know, work out in sweaty and humid environments and... Well, that kind of sounds kind of hot, not going to lie. But yeah, let's let's do that while, you know, we still have a global global pandemic going on. Yeah, good idea. Uh, Wheelie Husky, thank you much for the host. I appreciate that. They expect a wolf playing among us. I think so, too. Yeah, I think I think that's what they they expected. Um, and I thought I was being funny by being by saying, like, supposedly there's a wolf among us. But I've heard rumors there might actually be, too, because, you know, I'm here and we have the wolf in the game. But I guess in Among Us, in the actual game, you also have two imposters. So um, I see now my potential mistake that I made. <laughs> Although, is it a mistake? I don't know. It's, it might just be fun. You know, if people come in, they expect to see something and then it's not that. Yeah. Lesson learned. Lesson learned, chat. Also, speaking of the Olympics, when is that going to happen? Because I don't care about, you know, soccer or anything like that. But I do usually like to watch the Olympics. I know that now is also um, Tour de France, um, which is something I don't necessarily watch or follow. Uh, I do sometimes like to watch, but not necessarily for, you know, the sports, but for something else. You know, um, you know, something else in the Tour de France. Yeah. So I don't necessarily watch the sport. I don't necessarily care for cycling too much, but uh, sometimes I watch that. But the Olympics, I, I kind of do sometimes like because, you know, there are some sports in the Olympics that I, I, I like. Um, so then, you know, I, I mean, it's not that I necessarily, you know, be like, oh, wait, wait, I need to leave because, you know, the Olympics is on. I need to watch that. But, you know, when I'm just, you know, working on like a video or like working on something or whatever, um, I'm just... I'm, you know, I, I'm, I don't mind just having it on in the background. But I like things like, you know, swimming. I like triathlon is, is a sport that I usually like. Um, like Summer Olympics, there's actually quite a few sports that I do enjoy um, watching. And I don't necessarily also like, I don't necessarily care if like our team is or like my country is winning. I just enjoy watching uh, those sports. Um, also, some of them I enjoy watching for the athletes more so than anything else. But well, that's neither here nor there. Uh, Mason, hello, how are you doing? Uh, Wheelie Husky, also hello to you too. You can actually have up to three imposters in Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, D disclaimer, we're not playing Among Us today, chat. We're not playing Among Us. We are playing a game called The Wolf Among Us, um, which uh, 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 that's the name of the game. I didn't make it up, but that's the game that we're playing today. <laughs> the Wolf among us and i'm a wolf hey, so hello. i th that's why i thought Good it was a funny you. play on words but I, I i now realize how i'm misleading people mason 58 thanks so much for the follow and welcome to the delicious people how are you doing today um but yeah i realize now that i'm, I'm i might have misleading people <laughs> well you know if we have 15 people to that are like in chat and like hey i want to play among us then we can do that i guess maybe afterwards but yeah well for now we're gonna play another episode of, of this the the other among us so, yeah. Oh, gee, the streamer is an imposter. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I was just trying to do a play on words. I didn't realize that people were going to take it literally, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Good. How are you? I'm doing good, too. Yeah, slightly hot and sweaty. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm doing good. I am doing good. Am I sneezing? No, I'm not sneezing. Wait, why? Why do you think I'm sneezing? I was yawning like you know, that's, that's me yawning, but I'm not sneezing. If I'm sneezing, I might do like, you know, a chee, you might see me do that. But yeah, no, also look at my ears. Look at my ear, ear wiggles. I love how my ears can wiggle. It's so cute. I love it. And my, 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 you know, the tip of my hair can wiggle as well. Yeah, because you're a wolf and the title has Among Us uh, in it. So, yeah, I mean, well, that that was my joke. But I, like I said, I can totally see why people might think something else. But, 
that wasn't my intention. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't willfully clickbait everyone into coming. That's what I wanted to say. Like, I'm happy to have you guys here, but I didn't on purpose make it a clickbaity title. That's all. That's all. Hey, I'm good to have you. It's good to have you guys. Um, and on that note, I guess maybe, um, maybe this would be a good moment to actually start the game, you know, so people see that we are playing a game and they know that we are, you know, playing the wolf among us. Where is it? So we're going to continue with another episode of that today. Um, so yeah, I came onto this, uh, to watch, uh, to watch Among Us, but I'm still staying. Well, happy to have you, Mason. It's good to have you. And you are more than welcome to hang out. You are more than welcome to hang out. Tell me, how did you find the stream? Were you just Googling, you know, being on Google and, or on, on Twitter? Not, I don't know why I said Google. Were you just on Twitter looking for people, you know, streaming Among Us? Or how did you find us today? What brought you into the channel? But like I said, happy to have you. And you are more than welcome to stick around, have a good time. And uh, if you want, feel free to share how your day has been going or anything like that. Because I always love hearing about, you know, people's days and like what people are up to and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. I'm booting up my game in the background. There we are. Just chatting, tags for it, then I found you. Ooh, nice. Well, welcome on in. And I'm glad I did. Well, I'm happy to hear that. I'm very happy to hear that you uh, that you were happy that you found me. That's uh, that's honestly a big compliment. So so thank you for saying that. And you know, I would I mean, you know, on that note, I would love to play Among Us at some point, but um yeah, I mean, especially now with the 15 people lobbies. Hey. Um Oh yeah, well. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Um, but yeah, especially now with the 15 people lobbies, I would love to play it, but you know, you need to have 14 people um, that are all available at the same time in the same place. So yeah, sometimes that could be, uh, that's a little bit tricky. <laughs> um, all right, let's play. We are going to play episode number three today. So last week we did episode two and one. Today, we're going to continue with episode three. Crooked, a crooked mile is the name of the episode. I'm delicious. Don't eat me, please. Used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a beginning, middle, and a middle. End. Yeah. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Yeah. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm oh. not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking. Hooking? Way down dead. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club. The oh, no, there's boobies again. Crap, I forgot about the boobies. Nerissa. Well, Nerissa... I've got some questions. Yeah, and her lips her lips were sealed. She couldn't answer them. Arms. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the moment when we specifically said stay outside, don't come in, and she was like, oh wait, that means I should come in probably, and she walked inside and got frightened. It's crane. <gasps> it was crane, chat. Yeah. I know you're wolf, but be more civilized. No, I'm I'm never eating anyone. You guys are all delicious, but I'm not eating you guys. No, I would never. I would never. And that piece of shit. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find snow. Why? Yeah. What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Wait, wasn't Everything's the phone broken? Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following snow. If I can find her, I can... 
God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's oh yeah, that's funeral? true. Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. <laughs> that's there not important right now, Beauty. That he's drink that he may or may not be drinking. I mean, you you had a secret job. Like, don't don't you know? Don't do double standards. What's up? What? Yeah, what? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just okay. Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What are you what? trying to say? <laughs> yeah, what are you trying to say? When you saw that picture... Yeah? It's going to be much worse for her. Why? Just remember that. Okay. But... Why? I mean, I understand that you want to kind of, you know, protect her privacy and all that, but, you know, don't be vague about it, maybe. That was more than we wanted. We wanted a piece of shit. You gave his mother effing piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't click that. I didn't click for swear words. <laughs> he went off script, chat. I mean, I, I chose the script, which was piece of shit, and he was like, you know what? I don't like that. I feel this, this, this needs a little bit more cursing. So he went off script. What an interesting place to hold a funeral under a bridge. I like the uh, I like the candles though. It's a nice touch on the cinder blocks. That's uh, interesting. Oh well, I, I am here, but I'm I'm not sure if I was part of that very special circle. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that. Hey, let's not interrupt. Losing Lily will ever subside. If, you know, we can we can keep an eye on her, and if Crane is there and he's gonna do something, we at least can see that. It will never subside. So but yeah, we'll just we'll just wait. That the memory of Lily will sustain as well, and it will, in time, equal in strength to our more. What do we have? Look at Card. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about. I miss, miss worrying about you. I miss our fights. Your memories. I miss you. How she could be Holly. stubborn and Holly. patient, rash and... I'm eating cake shaped like a bone? Ooh, did you bake it yourself? For tradition, for and why is it shaped like a bone? Never die from indifference and most of all, or lead a tedious life. A tedious life? My sweetheart. Dearly Thanks for everything. Friends and family. Vivian. I don't know who Vivian is, I think. Do we Do we know who Vivian is? And bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told... You were a big, bright, shining star. Heart. In this she would have shit all over the town, and, and I miss you we'll already. Our, um, moment of silence. Wow, so he actually has a. Uh... He actually does have a um, a nice side. This Gren, he just doesn't like us. I got a bone mold, poured my vanilla cake Pickle batter in, cooked it, then put chocolate cake. sprinkles around it. Nice. That sounds actually delicious. No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve. Wait, how did I throw her that? Wait, I didn't do that. Wait. After you lie and say you'll check first. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He. Disposed oh yeah, I was gonna say I didn't do anything. Do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Yeah, I really did not. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. I do. This one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Uh, yeah. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? <laughs> Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. Yeah. No. Um, oh, wait, was that the this best choice? The way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us, right now. Oh, 
You know what? I mean, let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane. Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the <laughs> What? He says that fucking crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our wait, but does, Wait, does she know more? Is she covering for him? Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Or does Don't she? fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such Talking about vanilla, I did hear about a nice bullshit. concept called Vanilla Villa. <laughs> it's your turn to talk. Well, if anyone's gonna steal that... I, I, you know, I have it on record on my stream, on my VOD channel that I came up with it first. So if any, any TV platform is going to steal that, I, I just know it was me. I came up with it. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy, he gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just what have you found? Um... Bigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. Wrong? Crane's obsessed no, with you? Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I'm not sure if that was the best way to, to tell it, but... Motel, the open arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He... He plays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is I am. what he's been doing? Hasn't done anything apart because from having beautiful pink hair and just be utterly adorable? Oh, stop it. Posing Crane would be the next Stop it. Step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get Crane took out photos. Of the yeah. For messing all of this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos now. Lots of photos. Photos that show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Yeah. Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. we're not gonna... We, I mean, we've, we've kind of done things, you know, already. So let's not, you know, make it any worse. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Yes, but my lips are sealed. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Hey, bye! Also, I'm kind of low-key jealous of your, your bone cake mold. I, I want one of those. Wait, who's that? Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you jergovs are planning to do. I could be a Victoria's Se Secret Supermodel. Well, I'm not a... I, I think I only have female models, so I don't think that would work. Be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. Of course you are, we'll a professional. A chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that. Wait, how, wait who told him so that? Because I Crane didn't tell anyone else. And we leave you alone. Other than Snow, Just or wait. Just take a little vacation is all. 
don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Not later. It's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind fastly now. What's it gonna be? You think this? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stall for time. I'm gonna stall for time. Because it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, let's just stall for time. Invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not. Uh, Trix, how are you doing? Still need to change the topic of the game. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Thank you. Um, I forgot about that. Let's quickly do that. Um, boom. That should do it. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. Also, how are you doing? How are you? What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Oh really? well, yeah, too bad. I mean, that you know. Right, telling everyone our dealings. Oh wait, I think she's what pissed. Did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Wait, are they mad at me or are they mad at them? I'm not too sure. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. I'm doing yeah, right, just popping in for a bit while playing Animal Crossing. Nice! It's just a dead hole. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Oh! I got it done. Oh wait, is this gonna end bad? I don't want anyone getting killed. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's just it's just my shoulder. Okay. Wait, is she dead? Wait, what happened? Oh wait, that was just the intro. Wow. Wow. That was a uh, that was an explosive intro, I'm not gonna lie. I still love this intro music as well, it's so nice. It sets the it's totally fits the tone and the mood of this entire game. I love it. Episode 3 A Crooked Mile Also wait, give me one second because I wanted to quickly check something on my stream before I forget Um. So Okay, good, good There we go Also yeah, I just quickly, quickly wanted to double check if something worked again But it does Payroll Town Business Office, the Woodland Building. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big okay. Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Oh, wow. Look at him being all... <laughs> boof. Oh. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Oh, they are? Okay, good. The one that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Because that helps, or? The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Okay. Just remember what I said. 
The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Yellow. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Oh, they are. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. And the mirror is broken. Is also that phase dead? I'm actually wondering if if it is. Yeah. And if they can fix it, maybe, somehow, with, I don't know, like, so, magic? to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And yeah, makes sense. Know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Not about cover it. And once <laughs> he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I... Okay, so they can put it back together, I guess. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all mirror? we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I, I don't, don't think they, they, I mean, Crane sent them, actually. I think so someone crazy, else is still after this. Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... I, I think we know that he killed Lily. That's when one I thing. The open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Maybe same reason? Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. Maybe he's, he also had her? He's a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't know that, I think. People don't believe that I actually have a, 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 you know, a soft side. At least I hope so, for her sake. At least I think that people don't know that. Can I um, ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. Okay. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? So what is on your mind? What's on your mind? Me? Am I always on it's your mind? Just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And okay, but that's not I've a question. Heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Wow, that's that's because quite the. Because it gives the... you an excuse to just you know stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Yeah, it's not. It's it doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh, guys. Yeah. We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. How convenient. What do you mean missing a piece? Yes, it's a. Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Uh, <laughs> shard. I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Oh. What, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. Oh. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> so sassy. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Okay. Let's see. 
Hi, Mr. Bigby. Hi. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. How? I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Huh. Well, that's, use that's useful. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. See, we can be nice. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Wait, that, wait. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. Not especially sounds that. kind of like he did, but he didn't feel like saying it. Okay, so we have, I mean, did, did we look at these papers on his desk? Because there's quite a few papers there. Let's see. Oh, wait. Inbox. So that's his room key. 207. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I you don't want to know? to know? I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. I'm not coddling you, I'm just, There's you know. There's so much you can repress, you know? You know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Yeah. Come on, let's keep looking. Yeah, I, 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 I am. I am looking. Uh, who made your avatar? It's um, you can you can actually get the model on uh, on Gumroad. I'm 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 thinking. Wait, wait. I'm I'm thinking I might have a command for it, but I'm not too sure. Let me. Is it this? There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So um, that's the one that I uh, uh, that I that I'm currently using. So it's not a it's not a entirely custom one, but it's uh you know I I recolored it myself, so you know it's it's partially custom. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could go could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be a priority. Best Wayland Smith. All right, so that wasn't helpful. Uh, next one. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Wait, is that his name, Boy Blue? Or is that like a nickname? Alright, then the last one. Maybe that can help us. Replacing that G with another letter is also registered, but for sale. Oh! <laughs> wow. Wow. Why did you even try that? <laughs> At least I think I think I understand what you mean. I It took me like, I thought maybe my command, like, wait, my command? How is that for sale? But then I, I saw what you meant. Wow. Wow. Um, uh, Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the effing walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. But who's Cole? It's locked. Oh, not anymore. Wait, what was that look? Why why did she look at him like, you know, like that? You know, that's how she looked at him. The Office of Business Affairs. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Oh. 
Ah. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why hmm. not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. But he did mention it, though, to me. A meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or is I have a flying monkey on my back. I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? What letter? I'm well, I mean, it's it's kind of, uh, it's kind well, you of, you know, and I know. adult fun the time back. themed. So, so, you know, try try and figure it out maybe bird. yourself. <laughs> I tried this to, This isn't but... your concern. Oh, it isn't? No, and frankly, it's none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. Who is he actually? Like, what is his entire role in this administration? My business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally <laughs> invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing. Fables. Oh, so he's basically like, you know, the, the main no investor? In catch him? Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. The Commonwealth? Wow. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A Thanks few to me. Hours ...to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Ah, I, I mean, focus. let's do both. Chances are I'll have to let's do both. both anyway, so. No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> Wait, you can't just kick in the... You can't just the kick in the... I won't waste any more. You can't you just, just kick can't go up the door alone, in? All right. I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Blue Why is this guy being so it, difficult? Right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couches. Right, go check there. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is. But Wait, how can he not hear that? He obviously can hear that. There's not like an, a different dimension between the Where two of them. Go, Bigby? Oh, I have to make that choice? 
find the witch. Okay, so that's the objective, find the witch. But we either find her by going to... So you leave Crane alone. Oh great, and time is ticking as well, wow. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Oh, uh, we have to make a choice out of three. Crane's apartment, D's office, or Holly's bar. Ah, uh, I mean, you know, the other, I mean, there's two other locations. So I'm leaning towards D's office. But, um, um, you know, I don't want Bluebeard going to Holly's bar because I don't feel he's necessarily the most um, tactful kind of guy. I went on the website, I shall never be the same again. That's why I said, you know, you know, I, I mean, that's what I was trying to warn you for. Gotta go, keep staying adorable. Well, I'll try. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. But thank you for stopping by, Mason. I hope you had a good time regardless and uh, have a good rest of your day. Uh, and, and perhaps we'll see you again some other time. But thanks for being here. What do you guys think, chat? Should we go to D's office, to Crane's apartment, or to Holly's bar? Like, Holly's bar would be, like, the safest thing to do, maybe, because then, you know, I'm... We, I mean, I don't want to make her feel any worse, but I don't feel maybe, um, that's, like, the best place to go. So I'm leaning towards maybe go... Yeah, let's just go to D's office. Ian Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Let's just do it. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm not, but, you know... Holly seems to be the hottest lead. Yeah, but I'm not sure if she is very happy to see me and wants to help me. That's why I'm like, you know, trying to, yeah, not necessarily do that. Excuse me. Oh, hi, Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. I love his hat. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. I love his hat. It's been, uh, so, it's so, it's so cool. So far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. Oh, you're gonna... Yeah, if you want. You can wait for them there. Oh, it's... Sure. oh that's Thanks. perfect, no yeah. Not sure if that is, you know, like, the best thing to do, but I appreciate I'm it. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. <laughs> Fine, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble right now. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess that's okay. Well, I wasn't asking for permission, so, like, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. Regardless of whether or not you like it. <laughs> Why do they have so many hats on a... I mean, it's kind of nice. I like the I like the arrangements of hats, but yeah. All right, let's see. What do they have in the inbox? Didn't pay attention to the game. I got stung by a scorpion. Ooh. Dear D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. Wait, this is literally the first thing I was looking at and it's already pointless? I mean, dude, you know, have a look at something else. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. A couple of freaks. Ugh. Nah. I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. That's a, Okay, so that's actually... I, I, I want to stop there. That's funny. Um, the, the fact that he said they aren't actually so bad once you get to know them. Um, I actually saw a tweet today that specifically talked about that statement when some when people say like, well, once you get to know them, they aren't so bad. Um, and I, th I, I don't know, ex oh, man, I wish I remembered, but I don't know the exact thing that the tweet said, but it was something like, you know, so basically you're saying that he's an asshole, but then, you know, once you get to know him, 
he, you know, you kind of get used to it or something like that. And it's kind of like, you know what? I kind of understand where they are coming from. Like, so I think that someone is bad now, but then once I get to know them, they suddenly are not. Like, wh why are they just not bad, like, all the time? You know what I mean? So I kind of thought it was funny that he said that. Like, you know, they're basically assholes, but once you get to know them, they're not so bad. Like, what does that mean? I don't know. I just, I just thought it was funny. People. They're kind of loud at times. But you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? Yeah, for who? Kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just saying. You just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. So wait, did they get packages? For someone? Okay, wait, let's have a look at the cigar box. Maybe they don't smoke. Aha! You know about this? Uh, no. Okay, so we got a key. See, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. We have a key. Maybe it's a key to open the file cabinets. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Donkey skin, crane. There we go. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? 10k? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Alright, so let's have a look at Donkey Skin. We also have Cinderella and Brannigan. Don't know who those people are. So that's why they were at her apartment and the woodsman's place. Huh. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Other than themselves, oh, I guess. Me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Wait, do we want to look at the others? Cinderella, fine. Yeah, let's just have a look at the others if we have time. Might as well. Crispin says somewhere in Europe. These are not very big files either. Like, they have these giant file, you know, like these folders, but there's not really a lot in it. Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on. Entire, entire police precinct falls asleep for several hours. Well, I wonder how that could have happened. This is worse than I thought. George, you have some interest? Find anything? Not what I need. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. Wait, how? You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. All right, I don't feel like answering that because I think we're only going to go... Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns. Hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your... Oh, crap. You know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I... I know you like them, but they're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, part of me still feels that maybe they could be sort of, you know, like, I mean, he said before, we're on the same team. I didn't mean to. But I don't know. There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Oh. Well, thanks. That's well, actually found should work. surprisingly helpful. Thank you. 
for sharing that, I think. Keyhole. I think on my first playthrough of this, you know, like back in the day on Xbox, I think I went to Holly's Bar. So I'm kind of happy that I chose something dif different now because this doesn't seem at all familiar to me. I don't think I've been to this location when I had the choice just now. So I'm kind of happy with that. Wow. 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 All right, what do we have? We got a package. What's in it? JD. JD. J J yeah, I got nothing. A book. A book. Who's JD? What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane or, or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. Okay, we got another package. Oh, wait, we got ASAP. A package labeled ASAP. That might be big. I'm Ooh. Sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. Do you know what that is? Take money, leave money. I mean, we're not going to take it, I guess. I mean, that would be stealing. We're not that. I mean, this is funny. We had the option earlier. Is that what you needed? I don't think so. That's, to it's interesting. take money. There's more going on. But like, why would we do that? Because that would make us that even witch, more though. bad than people think we are already. Let's see. We got another package at the ASAP pile. Hey, Big B. Yeah. Do you think after all this... Do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You and Snow, you're nice. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be, thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. See, you know, we did something nice, that's good. It's I like that, hair. because this guy seems so seems why? nice, you know? Why? We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. Anti-Greenleaf. Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. No, it's not. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this, don't you think? I wonder if Buffkin and Snow had any luck. Maybe they found an address. Or can check for a record on Auntie Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Hello? Thanks. You're welcome, Shane. Wait, how is he holding that phone? Like he's not actually holding it to his ear. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch. Anti -green. Presumed witch. We don't know anything just yet. No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think <laughs> this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter to you. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. You might want to try Holly's place. See if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's. You might find something there. Oh, we can still go to the other place. Okay, that's kind of nice. Okay. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Um... You know what? I think the trip trap might be the I'll best lead afterwards. So let's go there. Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just... Be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? I'm always gentle. I was gentle when I was at the funeral, you know? But I, I mean, I don't think people understand that. I feel, you know, I feel that Big B is somewhat misunderstood at times. Wait, who came in though? That sounded sort of serious. Should we be worried? Is she okay?
Sorry, we're close due to bereavement. What's bereavement? <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to us? I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Wait, is he drunk? Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. Yeah, let's do that. But not in, you know, like a non-consensual way. We're not going to take advantage. We're going to take advantage of his mood, but not like we're not going to do things that, you know, on drink. Cool. Anybody else want to drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says or what you uh, say? Oh, wait, he's been mixing alcohol with his medicine. Oh, there we go. Grant, really you. You shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Oh, that's interesting. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. So what happens when he does? Which, um, I mean, I guess he already did. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. There's no way to wake her up. Oh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine... Oh, so that he listened to, but he didn't listen to, like, any, you know, health very concerns. traumatic experience. That funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send off for a pretty okay lady. A pretty okay lady. She wasn't uh, fine or like amazing or anything. No, pretty, oh, like she wasn't too bad. She was pretty okay. Yeah. That's basically what he's saying. Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. Good. I have to say, even though I still don't like him, I guess I kind of like him better this way. <laughs> if I have to choose. Town together, we're all going to have a toast. All of us. A toast. I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. One, two. Show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not going to hurt anybody. Okay, let's and just take we'll, one sip know, and then let's let's hope it, we're not, it didn't, you know, spike our drinks. Because that would be kind of annoying. To the dead. I'd rather drink, drink, yeah, okay, well. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. Oh my god, jeez, I did not expect that. Me about it, huh? <laughs> not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done. Wait, what are they doing? <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh crap, I actually do oh, care what it's God. about. You haven't heard the news. What this news? Walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. 
It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was Snow, and I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till Yeah, now. like he's, you know, like he's the life you of the town. Not this fucking loser, Sheriff. He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's oh. what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Yeah. And he's gone. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. But you said we couldn't. Walkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe uh, ogres too. Yeah, okay. Well, let's not get into it further because clearly right. he's either, you know, like... All right, Sheriff. Drunk or high uh, or both okay. or... <laughs> Grant won't remember this. I like that. <laughs> I like how the game is like, yeah, he's so out of it, he won't remember this. So don't worry about it. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> um, touch? No, we're not going to touch her. Let's... um. Let's see, creative alcohol, what do we have? What do we have? Wait, is this her room? Is she sleeping in... in the back? Oh, wait, I think that's it. Don't wake up! Don't wake up! Ooh, don't wake up! Wait, have we examined the thing? Oh wait, we have? Why can't he just slide it underneath? Like, you know, he can just grab it underneath and just slide it out because it's... Oh, there we go. Well, that works. Okay, what do we have? What's inside this box? We have a picture. Don't wake up. That you, Woody? Uh, yes. <gasps> Woody, is that you? Yeah, sure. Woody, yeah. was closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Okay, I will. Thank you. I see, we have a bottle of wine. I'm gonna photograph. Wait, why is wait 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 why is Tweedledee or Dumb in the background of that photo? Wait, he he didn't notice that. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl, ran around too much, but a nice girl. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I don't think she knows who I am, so we're just gonna try and play play along. Okay, we have the brooch that we saw earlier, and we have this glamour tube that we, uh, that the other... Oh wait, no, this actually, this actually came from, from her body. I think we, yeah, that's the same person, never mind. I don't know why you fucking came here. Wait, wait, There's like... There's nothing left for you to ruin, and I'm not in an entertaining mood. Yeah. She's not. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, uh, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. Wait, that's not good if the sky bleeds gypsies, I think. I mean, imagine you're just, you know, strolling down the streets and all of, all of a sudden gypsies fall on your head because, you know... It's raining gypsies. That's inconvenient. Lily's funeral. It was just so 
fuck tonight, but I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he yeah, she clearly doesn't know it's me. About it, if he even gives a shit. I do give I a don't shit. Know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... He's trying to do what's right. You think so? Oh, uh, yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, Wait, the woodsman knows me better than anyone? How, how is that? How is he supposedly know me? Oh! <laughs> I thought that was actually a phone, like, in my home, but I don't have a phone like that, so it can't be here. <laughs> Yeah, relax. Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks. Listen, <laughs> hurry. I'll meet you down there. Okay. I'll see you there. All right, we're gonna lead, Chad. That's good. Huff and puff. We got another achievement. We got a lead. All right, before we go any further, I think it's time to take a very quick break. Uh, get something new to, to drink, and you know, get like a uh, um, stretch my legs and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna do that. But then after that, of course, we're gonna continue with this uh, with this episode because there's a lot of things that are suddenly happening, which is good, but also like you know, m lots of questions. So I'm gonna leave you guys to it. I'm gonna take a quick break. Get something to drink. Maybe you guys want to do the same thing, you know? Stay hydrated. Very important. Also, stretch your legs, maybe, if you need to. Stretchy those Legos. Exactly. Exactly. Also, those are some cute... Pobs. I like them. Cute paw beans. Yeah, they're cute. I mean, I, I have mine, too. But, you know, they're not necessarily as cute, I think. But, you know, still. So, to toe beans and, and beans are cute in general. Anyway, you guys are cute beans, too. Speaking of beans. So, yeah, I'm going to take a quick break. Get something to drink. Stretch my legs, and I'll be back. And once I come back, we will continue with the wolf among us, or two wolves among us, because you know I'm 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 also here. So you know there, there's two. Um, anyway, chat. I'll be right back. Stay good. Behave yourself while I'm gone. Love your faces, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes.
Hello, hello, hello again. I have returned. Got something to drink. I had my bio break. I did some snuggles and, and kisses with the puppy. So everything is good. Everything is fine again. So let's uh, let's continue. Hopefully everyone else is doing OK as well. Uh, let's quickly see if I missed anything important over on the Twitter and the socials and such. But I think everything is fine. Hopefully you're all having a nice Wednesday evening or I guess Wednesday afternoon, depending on the, on, on the way you live, of course. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes, I'm still alive. Good. Good. I would be I would be worried if, if you guys or well, if you wouldn't be anymore, I would be uh, I would be saddened and I would have to maybe call like, you know, 911 to check up on you. But luckily, I don't have to. Luckily, everything is uh, luckily you're still doing good. Um. Oh, dang it. I was just talking about I was just I was just thinking that I wanted to. Uh, um. I wanted to say something, but now I forgot what it was. I wanted to say so I, I was in, in like in the bathroom I'm like oh yeah I, I want to say this and then I totally forgot so either it wasn't important or I'm just you know a, a scatterbrain and I, I forgot or both I guess both is also very much a possibility since uh, I am I tend to be a, uh, a scatterbrain sometimes um something about my sketch or something about wolves or the game <laughs> Yeah, let's let's guess. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Um. No, it's not coming back to me. Well, I did like your sketch, but I didn't necessarily want wanted to. There wasn't necessarily something I wanted to say, but I did like it. It, it looked cute, and like I said, I, I I mean, I loved how much it actually resembled your the photos that you took. So uh, good job on that. Good job on that. My my drawing skills are. Very much non-existent. Uh, I wish I wish I had any, but sadly I do not. So yeah, maybe I need to go to the bathroom again. Yeah, you, let's just go back, just to kind of see if it comes back to me. Yeah, that might be helpful. Well, one thing that I didn't want to say, like in general, but that wasn't what I was thinking of. But one thing that I wanted to say is that my my puppy ears are, um, actually, um, you know, actually are they they are finished and they are shipping. To me, so I, I have no idea how fast you know UK mail is, British mail, or the um, what is it, the Royal Royal Mail. Um, they should be with me hopefully soon, and then I need to find one of those you know those those devices that can actually push in the 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 studs in my cap, and then I can attach them, which which you know should be fun. Um, so yeah, that was you know that's that's just that's just one thing. One thing that I'm like, you know, I'm not actually worried, but like I was thinking about today is like, oh, well, when I'm when I'm when I get them and when I'm done, you know, when they're done and I'm going to go outside and I'm going to wear that cap with the ears on top. Like, are people going to think anything? And if so, what what will they think? But at the same time, you know, I don't really care because, you know, sometimes I see other people wearing clothes and I'm like, oh, I'm not. And that's not something I would wear, but I'm not going to judge them for it. Like if they, if they think it's comfortable or nice or looks good or whatever, then hey, good for them. I'm not going to care. So, you know, if people might judge me for the things that I wear, well, then, you know, that's not my issue, is it? So I'm going to try and keep that mindset as much as I can. Because, yeah. I don't know. I, th I think just I, I think that I mean, that's what I always say. Like, you know, you should be able to just wear whatever the hell you want and dress however you like and you please. Of, of course, you know, like. If you're like, well, I want to go walk around naked. I mean, I ne I don't think I would necessarily mind myself, but you know, it's might that might not be the most appropriate thing to wear or, you know, wear, quote unquote, because obviously when you're naked, you don't actually like wear anything. Um but yeah, other than that, you know, like yeah, you you dress however you want. Same as that I don't necessarily believe in like gender specific like clothing. Like, you know, how dresses are for women and, and jeans are for men or, you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't necessarily believe in that. If you are a man and you want to wear a dress, good for you, you know? I mean, if you can rock it, then hey, go for it. You might actually look amazing. I mean, it doesn't... um, What's his name? The son of Will Smith. Doesn't he wear, like, famously wear dresses and everything? And I think, honestly, though, I think he looks amazing in them. I, I've seen some photos of him um, wearing, like, a dress and I'm like, wow, dude. Wow, I wish I would would look as good as you do in a dress. Not that I actually tried one, so maybe I do, but yeah. 
good for you for just, you know, rocking it and looking awesome and, and totally getting away with it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was like a little tangent. I don't care what you wear. Yeah, well, good. I appreciate that. Um, there we go. Big B. Yeah. I just got here. Yeah, good. Me too. It's number twenty-three. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. This right. is it. How do you want to do this? I don't know. Just knock. Listen. Kick. Door knock. Talk to. Let's just knock. Hello. Who is it? Ooh, a door that opens like that? That's never... Hello? Oh. Hey, little girl. Hi. You woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I sorry didn't knock that. that much. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. A munchkin's oh, house? See, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. You have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Whoa, okay. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats? That kind of <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> that's um, that's that's awfully specific. Um, hello, uh, person with uh, the assumingly uh, Japanese or Chinese name, uh, Angel Long Long, I guess. Uh, welcome on in, and thank you so much for follow and welcome to the delicious people. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Me bad. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Oh, you can't? Do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. Oh, yeah, we're not going to wait for your answer. We're just going to barge in because, you know, why not? I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Hmm. We didn't ask him if anyone was here. Okay, Sheriff. I'm going to trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. You could still be here. I forgot to say I'm from Taiwan and it's nice to meet you. Well, hello. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't want to like butcher up your um your your username and in terms of, you know, its its origin. Um so no, forgive me for that, but right. welcome on in. Hello. Just going to check. It'll only How do you want me to uh, refer to you seeing as, you know, in my Twitch chat I just see your um, your username that I can't understand, uh, but after that it says Angel Long Long. So should I just refer to you as Angel? Is that what you prefer? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh, my mommy makes all of mine. Okay. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. Honky tonk. Ooh. No accounting for taste. What's wrong with honky tonk music? I like that. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Okay. Oh. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy. Why do I have a feeling that she's basically she Auntie Greenleaf? But, really. you know, like she's oh. glamoured? That your mom? Or maybe not. Uh -huh. I mean, maybe she still is. I mean, we don't know. Do you have any pets? Yeah, we have, uh, what's his name? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. The old trinkets. world? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Ah, what's wait, what's that? Wait, what's back here? Closet door? I mean I have to touch that if I want to, you know. Even though I said I wouldn't touch anything, I still have to touch it. Deliver to Auntie Greenleaf. The butcher. The butcher. Wait, what's who's that? the butcher? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. Maybe that's just her meat? It's empty. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? 
see why you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be so smug about it. We still haven't seen the entire place, Missy. So, you know, before you start getting all smug, just you wait. Who knows what we will find? Hmm, what's that? Damn it. Shouldn't say that. Nothing. <laughs> Getting whisked. Shouldn't say that. After shave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Yeah, go to bed. We'll we'll just keep searching the place. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that a glamour tube? It's so cute. Mommy Wait, me? He really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Okay, well, I'm just going to do it anyway, so, you know. What what are you going to do? No, no, please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No, put it down. Oh, what was that? Yes, oh, whoa. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not cute. Stop it. I don't want to get in trouble. See? There you go. It hurts when you do it that fast. Ah, we knew it. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? Wolf? Wow. How about because it works? That's why. I good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while? Yeah. All right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is going to prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Oh. Tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? Yeah. I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. Okay. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Please, Greenleaf. Crane is a murderer and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. Wait, so he's not escaping or he's not a murderer? Like, it be more specific. Matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. Yeah. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay. So, enlighten us. I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least. How did she grow a tree inside as well? I, I I don't get it. How does she do it? We're destroying the tree. No. Wait, wait. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me? That's all. I I thought she. That, that tree is ancient. It's part of. I the thought she was gonna the take her in. Like we're we're arresting you. Apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You yeah. want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. Yeah. Not a house cat. 
and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will... Wait, so now we officially know there's a protection on her speech? It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I mean, I think we knew I'm that, sorry, but now we know for sure. I still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of <clears> trouble, <throat> and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. It does. You get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Oh, she's gonna be pissed don't though. I don't like that. that this is over. Yeah, she's so she's not happy the with. Truck's gonna show up here or something? She's not gonna be happy something with us, like but that. we'll call you. I mean, she was just kind of being, you know, vindictive, I guess, and I don't think it was gonna help anyone. So, yeah, rather just do something that I guess is best for like most people. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it take. We'll see how it takes out. Why do I have to take a cab everywhere? Why can't they just have their own vehicles or... I don't know. Isn't that like easier and quicker and cheaper? No, oh, she... nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Ooh. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now. Well, that answers that question, I guess. Hey, you can't just go in there. Well, tr funny, because I think I'm just doing that. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh, my God. Big B. Oh, my God. You don't. Wait, you don't want me to punch him? I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. Uh-huh, sure. Work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. He clearly seems very desperate. I went to you. Please come here. Come here. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. Oh, I never liked it when they said, but now it kind of felt like, you know, like a burn, like a <laughs> sassy slap. I like that. That was fun. That was fun. Not going to lie. My lips are sealed. How many years? <laughs> what? Wait, what? How many years has this been going on? Too, too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just... Oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just. Yes? I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you. And, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? Wait, but if he loves her, he has a very weird way of. Uh, you don't love me. Chris. A very weird way of showing that. This is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Then what is it? Bigby? Yes? I don't think he did it. What? What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. 
What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. Like a lot. There's a lot we all have to answer for. Wait, what do you mean? I didn't do anything. You know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. Yes. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yeah. Yes, I know how this. Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? There's nobody else that's even remotely. He's the prime suspect. There is nobody else. But why? Really? Think about it. Because circumstantial evidence is one thing. And I won't kill a man for that. Everything, everything points to him. Do I have to go down the laundry? Okay, okay, okay. If I'm being very honest here, like, like just me speaking, I do sort of understand what she means. And I kind of, you know, you know I, I mean, I'm not going to say that I totally believe that he might not have done it, but I do sort of maybe get that what she's after and what she means and you know i mean we still have this like this crooked man i, I mean i still i'm not 100 percent convinced that it's him that's kind of i guess the thing that i'm trying to say like i'm not saying it's not him but i'm also not totally saying that it is um it is him because that's that's just like a lot of things oh whoops uh, there's just like a lot of things that just don't don't make sense and don't really add up. But yeah, I don't know. 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 I just felt like, you know, cl clearing that up. His girl always fucking lies. And all of that is perfectly fine, except that there's no real motive. Snow I... and no evidence that says anything except he was in the same room at some point in time. He embezzled millions from Fable Town, Bigby. That's what I have to care about. And that's enough. I was going to pay all of that back. Snow, why are you defending him? I'm not. I'm defending the order of things, Sheriff. Oh, see, she's still you pissed for him. us going after, you know, like not listening to I her with the Auntie Greenleaf thing. To this town and not killed by you for personal preference. Believe me, killing is not like a, it's not like my kink or anything. I like to kill people, but you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fable Town funds and perhaps of killing right people. Counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. And for suspicion of murder. No, sheriff. Yes. This can't be Greenleaf again and again behaving however you like. Oh, see, see, complaint. yeah, oh, you see. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. Wow, someone's got her panties in her wad. I think he's part of it, but then actually do the crime. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. I just don't like, you know, she was she was just being salty. Let's admit it. She was being salty for how we behaved at Auntie Greenleaf. We didn't burn the tree. We went against her direct order. And now she's pissed. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious, don't you guys think? I think it's pretty obvious that she just didn't like what happened back there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stupid girls and the preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Wait, what what is he saying? Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes? Like what schemes? Oh, what's going to happen now? Uh, hello? Shit. Wait, 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 they're not going to, they're not going to go towards the car, like... Clearly that vehicle is after them. Oh, look, there's another one. And another one. 
Okay, so there, those are the Tweedles. And who is the other person? Wait, who is she? Hi. Hi. What you got there? But who is she? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Oh, uh, uh, don't act like... Oh, I hate that. Don't act like that. Crane over here. Like a good doggy. Oh, she's calling me a doggy. And a good boy. Ooh. Okay, that triggers my attention. with official Fabletown business. Step aside. But she called me a good boy. You know that thing the Mondays call me? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. What, what is she talking uh, about? Bloody, bloody Mary. Mary. That's it. Thank you. Oh. And do you know why they call me that? Would because you like know, cocktails? I think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. Oh. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. I don't th think she likes your sassy behavior. Fuck it. Don't just do like it. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy, he's gonna wait. He's gonna actually turn into a doggy now, I think. Ooh, look at them being all scared now. Yeah, now you've done it. Wait, I'm not sure if I should, if I should, wait, also, by the way, these are shotguns, how do they have, how can they keep on shooting, even like automatic shotguns, I don't think they have that many bullets, so. Like, don't you feel that you have to reload at some point? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure if I should just keep holding W. Oh, there we are. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have gone directly at them. Boom, yeah. Boom, take him out. Are you done? Oh. I'm not sure if we're actually killing them, if that's what we want to do. Wait, she wants him to be thrown at her? Okay, that was a, a quick, quick time event that I actually did make. Okay, let's let him go. We're not gonna kill him. Because I don't want to be that person. Why is the other guy not shooting anymore? I think we, I think we, uh, we made him... Either we killed him or we uh, incapacitated him. I don't know. I do want to kill her, though. Oh, don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. You saw what they did to me. Wait, was that a silver bullet? Just didn't know when to end. Wait, why did she have to get an axe all of a sudden? What's the deal with that? 
Oh, I don't. Oh, I I don't like her because she's kind of like. Ooh. I keep pressing as hard as I can, chat. I can't press any harder. I can't press any harder. I can't go any faster. I can't go any farther. I don't know what the game wants me to do. Okay, okay. Whew. I don't know what that did, to be honest, but yeah, okay. Take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Get out of here. But who's that? It's oh, that's it. Kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Just like that. Hello, that's like that. Got a that's their their way of communicating. I really hate like these people that are they think they're all powerful and then they like you know they they put on this show rolling down the window and doing like this, you know this hand, and then you know that's oh, it. Just between us girls, Crane ain't no kill. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Okay. Kind of like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedlestay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Wait, but who's the queen then? Is that her? Be in touch. See you around. The puppies like bones? Well, yeah, but, you know, not like sticking out of me, I guess. You know? Do you think that was the end of this episode? I think so. <laughs> Next time on The Wolf Among Us. Okay, somehow we survived. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. Hey, it wasn't me. By the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Are oh, you hurt what the doctor Woody, said, didn't you? Not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. Yeah. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? I don't know. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. But who's do Jack? You? Jack Sparrow? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> And again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? I always kind of, you know, like, I always find these next time on segments slightly, um, like, you know, like, I don't, you know, they don't necessarily make, like, a lot of sense because I feel they don't really give anything away, if you will. Um, which might be the point, but like, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. We like, we know nothing at this point. Like we have like no sort of clue where the next episode is going to go. So why even bother? Let's see. Did we interrupt Snow's eulogy? Well, most people didn't. 80, 80.7% 80 didn't. Decided to be kind. What place did we investigate first? Oh, 19%. The minority of people actually went to Tweedle's office first. Most people went to Holly first and... Yeah, yeah, clearly they went to the other places first. Wow, so we were the minority. That's interesting. I wish I went to Crane's, Crane's apartment because I was kind of curious. I don't think I went there in my first playthrough, so maybe I should have gone there too. Um, did we offer Flycatcher a job? Most people did, 96.1%. Because he was kind of, you know, he was still kind of nice. 79.5 didn't burn the tree. That's surprising. Also, 55.8 didn't uh, kill Dum. Also, so, 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 somewhat surprising. 
And I think that's it. I think that's it. The end of episode number three, which means on Friday we're going to go and see episode number four. Um, and then next week we're going to finish it off with episode number five. So that's going to be interesting. I really hated this last woman that came in. I, I really didn't like her. Like I always hate it when people, you know, feel that they are super powerful and then they also act like that. I don't know. I always, I can't deal with, with stuff like that. <laughs> Um, I found out that I work at Marketing and Picnic. I did see on their Instagram that it's only 170 days till Christmas. Oh, they, they posted that? <laughs> well, then it must be. Depending on your choices, you will beat the crap out of her. Yeah, I, I, you know. I mean, we were kind, we were, we had mercy with Tweedledum. Sort of. You know, we didn't kill him. But if we have the choice with her, I don't think we're gonna be that nice and that friendly. Just saying. I don't feel like I don't feel like it when things come to sh you know when push comes to shove with her I don't feel like being nice so yeah all right let's end out of this game are you sure you want to quit the game yes I am very sure that was fun chat that was fun this uh, it was uh, it was a um an episode with lots of uh, lots of twists and turns, but at the same time, it was a it was a good episode. I liked it. I liked it. But I'm also starting to feel like, um, you know, where are things going now? Where are things going? Because I, you know, like I said before, even though I've played this game before, it's been a long time. So I really, no, I mean, most of the things I'm, I'm I don't know what happened anymore. So like, there's a lot of things that, um, well, I mean, while they technically aren't new, they still sort of are somewhat new because I forgot what what happened so um yeah I missed uh, uh 11 11 followers well not the first 11 11 I mean I missed the 11 11th follower yeah so um um Angel Long Long Angel Long Long was my 11 12th follower what's that 1112 yeah yeah before we know it we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to celebrate our 2,000 followers celebration. <laughs> no, I know that's gonna take some time. That's gonna take some time. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, All right. Doesn't the game have multiple endings too? At least I think you said something about that. Um. I'm actually not too sure if it has multiple endings. Can we find that? Let's see. The Wolf Among Us, multiple endings. I don't want to get spoiled, but let's see if, if this one has multiple. I think, I'm not sure if it has multiple endings per se, but I, I think I did definitely say that like, you know, the gameplay and the story kind of changes based on the, um, based on like, you know, the choices that you make. But I'm not sure if it has multiple endings. Let's see. Does this game actually let us have a choice? I think the ending will be slightly different depending on your choices, just like... Yeah, so I think that might be like maybe the ending itself might be different or might change, but yeah, I, I don't want to click on any of these sides because I might I feel they might get spoiled. Um, but yeah, I think maybe like the, the, way, the, th the way things end might differ slightly based on our choices. I think that's, uh, I think that's what it's, how it works. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, I think we can go play something else. Now, I was at, initially I was thinking of maybe um, playing some more RDR2. Um, but seeing as, you know, we got a rig and I'm not sure how well that's going to play. I was actually thinking that we can also play some Armello. I've never played that on stream. Uh, and I've never actually played the single player, which I think could also be interesting. And I think that's also a perfect game to play while doing some chatting with you guys. Like, you know, being able to hang out with all of you in chat. So um, that's fun. And I'm not sure if you... I don't think I've ever played it on stream in, in, in general. So um, that could be fun. That could be fun. And I, I kind of wanted to practice that a little bit more. So let's do that in a bit. Also, Monster Hunt 36, Rockman. All of the Telltale games have multiple endings. It just depends on the choices you make. Yeah, but I, I mean, I wonder if it's like an actual multiple ending um, or if it's more like, 
Um, you know, like, you know, there's like one basic ending and then there's like certain variables that can change depending on the choices that you made. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. The ending couldn't be good or bad. There are multiple endings. All right. Well, then I'm, I'm kind of, you know, we'll, we'll find out what ending we'll get. Um, oh, I also installed Dead Rising 3. Hmm, that could also be fun. That could also be fun. Um, so, but that was, that was a game that I basically installed or that I basically wanted to play just, you know, like, just me off stream. Um, but if any of you are, okay, okay, so we can do like, maybe like a, well, not an actual poll, but just like a, a thing in chat. Are you guys more interested to see Armello? Which is kind of like a board game with intro characters. Um, and you know, like I said, that could be fun and I can actually hang out and interact with you guys better. Or are you more curious about Dead Rising 3, which is a zombie slaughter game? Um, that's a game that I wanted to play off stream and I'm definitely gonna play off stream. Um, so like, it's not gonna be like a thing that we're gonna play every week or like, you know, on like, a, 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 you know, a... a so, so, that, so that's why I'm thinking maybe that's not the best game to play now because then, you know, people might get invested in the storyline. And I actually kind of, I was actually excited to play Armello. Let's just play Armello. That's actually fun. Let's just do that. I, I know that's going to be fun. Do I hear you complaining about not having enough games? Should I get you some more? No, no, I have more than, I have, uh, listen, 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 listen. I have more than enough games to play because I was excited to play um, Dead Rising, which I bought uh, uh, last week. I was excited to play that off stream. I have uh, Battlefield 4 that I'm going to play off stream. Uh, and stream-wise, we have more than enough games too. We have the Batman series that I still want to do at some point. We have uh, Dishonored, GTA 4. So no worries. We got it. <laughs> Just teasing. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Armello is fun. Let's do that. Um, and if anyone in chat actually has Armello and you do want to join, that is totally fine. You can totally join and jump in and we can actually, um, uh, you can join. But if nobody has it, I can just play the single player and that's fine too. Um, so yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, let me quickly check up something. But yeah, everyone, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. It's good to have you. And thanks for stopping by on this uh, Wednesday evening and or afternoon. It's good to have you. I never played Armello. I don't think I got it either. Don't forget to change the game. Yeah, I will. I will. I will do that. I will do that. Wait, Battlefield 4? I love that game. I think I'm on a mission on an aircraft carrier. Yeah, so I actually got that for myself um, last week in the Steam sale. Because what my issue was, issue, quote unquote, is that I had a lot of games that I wanted to play on stream. Um, but then I also wanted, you know, like sometimes you just want to play a game like, you know, when you're not streaming. And I didn't have a lot of games that I felt like I could play off stream because I was like, yeah, this is going to be a story game. And then, you know, I, I, you know, I want to show this to people. And then the games that I did play on stream, like, for instance, RDR2, I don't want to play that off stream because then I feel people might, you know, I, I might continue with the story. And then people are like, oh, wait, but I missed that. So... Um, um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I just, I just, I just wanted to get some games that I can just enjoy, um, off stream. And I think, you know, Battlefield 4 does have a single player that I definitely want to get into, but the multiplayer, I actually played that a little bit last week and it kind of brought back some good memories. Um, since I played that quite a bit, uh, you know, back in the day when it first got released. Um, the only downside is, is that I don't have, like, you know, I, I, I need to level up again, so I don't, I can't really, um... You know, I, I, I need to get all my weapons unlocked and like all my equipment unlocked and such. So that's kind of be annoying. Um, I'm going to be cheeky cheeky for just a split second, though. The gift I prepped for you is done. Wait, you prepped? Wait, what, what, what gift? What are you talking about? It'll be in your Discord in DMs. Wait, wait, what did you do? What, what, what are you talking about? What gift? Wait, wait, you know, you know, you guys know how well I do with surprises. Now I'm kind of nervous to open it. <laughs> I'm nervous to open it. You guys know how well I am with surprises. Okay, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. What What did you do? Um. Oh my... Oh. <laughs> wow, that is so cute. That is so cute. Wait, can I show that? Wait, can I show that to people? That is so cute. That is the cutest thing ever. I love it. <laughs> that is so cute. Look at this. Look at this. It's a 
super cute Brooklyn, like, you know, circ circular icon. That is so cute. Also, I love the name, Mr. Boopalicious. That is so cute. I love it. I love it. That is so cute. It's a boop button. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, wait. We can... Oh, yeah, I can set that up that whenever someone uses the boop command... Oh, we can do something fun. Yeah, I can set that up that whenever someone uses the boop command, that it shows up on the screen and it kind of does like a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what I want to do with that. That is so fun. I love it. Thank you. That is so fun. I love it. That's so cute. Look at that. Look at that big old note. Wait, can I boop it myself? Oh, no, it's too big. I, well, well, can I, can I like... No, it doesn't work. I wanted to... Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I, wait, can I push it still? Wait, 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 wait. Can I do like... Boop. Okay, well, it's not the same, but it sort of works. <laughs> wow, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Um... If you, um, if you want to, uh, can you send me the artist if you want on, on Discord as well? So I can, I can link it, I can show it off on my, on my Twitter and then link to the artist as well. Um, because I always find that, you know, like nice to do when someone made something. I, I always think it's nice to actually share and credit the artist. But thank you. That is so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, also, would you mind if I add it to my Discord as a sticker? Because I kind of love the stickers and I think this would totally work as a sticker too. Um, so Yeah. I hope you wouldn't mind if I would do that. And honestly, I kind of like it as a... I, I like it for many things now. I kind of like it as a profile picture as well, because it's circular, which is great, because most profile pictures are actually circular. Um, so I kind of I kind of like it as a profile picture as well. I kind of... I, I have so many cool ideas with it. <laughs> oh, but it's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. Um... Okay, oh, yeah, I was going to say, you send me something, we just send the, the artist. Yeah, thank you. That is so nice. Wait, let me set this as unread, so otherwise I'm going to forget. Uh, but that's that's lovely. I love it. I love it. But, uh, well, seriously, you, 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 you with the with the cheeky things. And, and, and the key, cheeky gifts and stuff like that. Cheeky, cheeky. Yeah, very cheeky, cheeky. Like, not going to lie. Not gonna lie. I, I mean, I'm sorry, but I, I just can't deny it. I can't deny it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm thinking, I mean, I would love to have it as, I think it would it would be so good as like a, uh, like my profile picture here on Twitch, but I'm never sure how clever it is to kind of switch that out, you know, like, randomly like that because I'm always like well do people ever look at my profile picture and then be like oh I know who this streamer is or if you change that is that gonna make is that gonna be um are people gonna be like you know wait wait I don't know who this is I'm not gonna click on that username or on that face because I have no oh wait you know so I'll, I'll maybe I can use it on like Twitter or something but um I definitely wanna I definitely wanna use it like somewhere it's also meant as, as discord icon as well oh wait as like a server icon huh yeah, or like my user, like my profile on Discord, that could also work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's perfect that it's so like like that's usually the thing with these icons, um, that you know usually they are square, and you know then usually these profile pictures are also always circular. So then you have like a square icon or like a, yeah like a square image, and then you need to cut out like a circle, and then you know always lose like you know parts of your ears or like your chin or anything like that. So this is perfect that it's actually made circular. That's kind of ideal. <laughs> Which I'm sure that's intended, but yeah. Or they think, I don't know that streamer, let's watch. Yeah, yeah, well, that could also totally work. Um, anyway, there's like many th many cool things I can do with it. And, and it's good that it's PNG. Um, but I think we can also definitely set it up like when, like in Leon board or something, when someone uses the boop command, then it actually pops up on screen. Like, you know, it comes up here. And then, you know, there's, gonna, gonna, there's like a hand that goes to it and then like, boop. And then with like a cute sound, I think that could totally work. Also, I'm su kind of surprised how well that worked with me, you know, doing like, boop, you know, that actually worked. I'm touching my own hand. I'm so surprised that that works properly with, with my, um, what's it called? Leap motion thing. Also, I'm out of music. I oh, mean, I love this music though. Let's just play it again. I love this playlist. It's so good. There needs to be more hi-fi playlists, hi-fi music. Anyway. Thanks so much, uh, Triggs. I appreciate it. 
and I appreciate you. Um, let's start our mellow. Again, my pleasure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I if I'm saying things too often, but yeah. <laughs> like I said, I'm I'm always very um like with gifts and stuff like that, I'm always like, oh, I don't know how to respond. I'm you know what? It's funny. This is actually a funny story. With like um with like, you know, birthdays, I'm always very um I, I'm not good with birthdays because I, I'm always like I, I never know like how to um I, I never know like how to respond with like you know gifts and and birthday presents and such. So what I always do when someone gives me like my gift for my birthday, I always take my time to open it because I can't just you know rip off the paper. I can't just be like oh I got a gift let's you know rip it up you know and I want to see what's inside. No, I always take my time, go like um, scotch tape. You know I always open the scotch tape very neatly and like wherever people folded it down I always open that very neatly so I say I get myself some time I'm stalling the moments until I have to open it up see what's inside and then have to respond to whatever it is inside and like nine out of ten times I love what's inside I just can't deal with surprises very well so I'm kind of like I'm kind of like opening it and then I'm like oh yay I love this or like, oh, I don't necessarily love this, but I can't say that. So, yay, I don't know what to say, you know? So I always, I, I don't like, I don't like opening gifts because I don't like, you know, like, I don't like the tension and like the, the feeling that people are like looking at me while I'm opening the gift and then waiting for me to respond to said gift. I don't like, I don't like sort of like the pressure or like being in the spotlight like that, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Like, it's not that I don't like the gift. But it's just, I don't like sort of being in the spotlight like that and, and put, put on, on my spot like that. So yeah, um, it's a little bit of a, a maybe a weird tidbit. I love the excitement of opening presents and surprises, but I do not necessarily need the attention around it either. Yeah, like, I mean, I love it when I get gifts. Like, you know, I, I will never say like, oh, I know, I'm sorry, I don't like getting gifts. I love gifts and presents and all that. I love that. Um, but I'd rather, you know, I mean, ideally, what I would love for my birthday is people would come in they would be like, hey, I have a gift and they just set it on a table on the side and then we just go around and have my party or whatever. And then once everyone is done and everyone is, you know, going back home, then I will open all the gifts. You know what I mean? So that it's just, you know, like it's just me and I don't have to act or I don't have to say what I think about the gift in the moment. That would be perfect. But I guess most people don't like that. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see. I can see if maybe someone else is playing. Uh, I don't think so. It would be super coincidental, but I don't think anyone is playing this. Um, nope. All right, so we're just going to do single player, which is fine. I've never done that. Um, did I change the game, by the way? I did. Good. Single player. Wait, continue? I don't think I can continue. No. New game. Uh, I want to play... Oh, yeah, big screen. I want to play as my cute wolf boy, Thane. Uh, oh, wait. Brun, which is a bear. Let's see, who do I want to... I don't have all the deal... Never mind, I'm not going to say anything. We're good. I'm going to keep my mouth shut from now on. We're going to go with Thane. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I No, I said... I said... Um... Um, I, <laughs> I said nothing. I think you just heard what you wanted to hear. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. We're going to go with Thane um, because he's cute and he's a he's a cute little wolf. And isn't that like adorable? Oh, wait, we can actually play with others. OK, let's see. We have Mercurio. I kind of want to play with uh, Brun. I don't know why, but Brun is also sort of cute. So let's play with them. We have River and we have Ember. Let's see, AI player for Ember. Let's make that Barnaby. Barnaby. Wait, we actually can change like, oh no, this is all random. All right, let's go with that. Oh, that is loud though, chat. Wow, hang on. We're going to have to turn the volume down a little bit. So basically the premise of Armello, it's, it's a digital board game and... The idea is, is, um, it's, it's, I mean, it might seem very daunting if you don't know the game. You might go into it and be like, wow, this is, uh, this is a difficult game. 
DLC is pretty expensive, even with the sale ongoing. Yeah, don't get the DLC for me because the well, I mean, the main thing with the DLC is that you get like you can get more characters to play with. Um, but please don't don't feel like you have to get me. Don't get me the DLC because I know they are kind of expensive. That's why I'm like, you know, not getting them at the moment. Um, let's see. Let's lower the uh, volume a little bit because it's kind of loud. Uh, and let's quickly go over the idea of the game. So basically, it's a board game. Um, the only one I would probably get is the Seasons Pack. Well, the Seasons Pack, the only thing that does is like now we're playing in winter. And what the Seasons Pack does, literally the only thing it does is it adds more boards that are like in other seasons. But it's only cosmetic. Like, if anything, if I would have the money and if I would buy a DLC, I would definitely buy the character DLCs. Because then you can play with the other characters. And some of them have like other powers and such. So, um... But yeah, I mean, I got six or eight characters now, which is fine. I love Thane the most anyway, so... Um, anyway, the premise of this game, so it's a board game. There's four players. Um, and the idea is, is that the king of Armello, which is, you know, the, the place that this... Um, um, you know, the place that this takes place. The king is poisoned by the poison, which is known as Rot. And... We need to basically dethrone the king. That's kind of the idea. So there's several ways that we can do that. Um, one of them is we can actually get more rot than the king, which makes us more, you know, powerful, quote unquote, and then we can defeat him. Uh, another one is to get the most prestige, which would make us the most, you know, sort of powerful. And then once the king dies, like after, I think I want to say like eight rounds or ten rounds, the king dies. Uh, and then the person with the most prestige can also win if nobody actually defeated the king. Uh, there's also something called a spirit stone. We can collect those. And then if we have six, we can go to the king and we can cleanse him of his poison. And then we basically take over from him as well. And there's another one that I forgot. I think that's just killing the king, like just going in and killing, defeating the king. I think that's another one. Um, so yeah, I've never actually won a game of Armello. Um, I did get very close, but then someone that I was playing with snatched my win from underneath my face. So that was annoying. I always like to go for the stones because I find that relatively easy. So we're going to go with that. And that's going to be my first stone. Quick AI turns unlocked. Uh, quick AI turns have now been enabled. You can disable quick AI turns in the game preferences options menu. Oh wait, I'm not sure if I want quick AI turns. I'm kind of okay with... AI will act rapidly with their combat and peril skips. No, I kind of like it when when that when they just take their turn. That's fine. Um, turn time is burn down only, disabled, short, normal. Yeah, burn down only. That's good. It should be easier on solo mode. I think so too. Yeah, because I've I've always played with people that have played this game many times, and they all know the game very well. And then I'm still relatively new at it, so yeah, maybe that didn't help. Also, hurry, hello, future ch future king. I hope so. Yeah, I haven't won a game at all. I'm still sort of salty about that time when uh, uh, I think it was Grey Ring stole my prestige win at the last round. <laughs> all right, let's see. We are going to go. My stone was my stone quest was over there. So let's go there. Uh, what do I have? Equipable. We can equip that if I have enough coins, which I do. Um. All right, cool. So let's we got three um, action points every round, so we can start with this. Uh, oh, we also have a dungeon, which we might be able to get another stone. So let's go there. Let's go to the dungeon. I think chances of getting a stone is quite low, but you might still get it. Uh, let's see. In battle, four dice after each battle where you don't kill your opponent. Minus one health. Oh, that's actually a good one. But I do get two raw, which... I mean, we could also go for a rot win, but it's not ideal. But I, you know what? I still might want to equip this because I think it's not too bad. Four dice. I can definitely use that because I don't have a lot of dice. As this character, which is one of the main things that I don't necessarily like. Hope you're doing great. I am doing good. Thank you so much for stopping by. And hopefully you are having a good Wednesday so far as well. Uh, all right. So that's the end of my turn. So now we're going to go to... Um, what's his name? Run. So this is going to be an AI. I don't know how difficult the AIs are, like if I've set them at this at difficult or regular. Also, I still don't know why I keep doing, you know, the dab. So 
So I've actually seen Hurry. Hurry was actually one of the people that I saw play this game quite often. Um, but I did notice that if you don't play it, like if you've never played it before and then you see other people play it, it might be kind of hard to get into and kind of understand what's going on. So if you have any questions and like, I don't understand what you're doing or I don't know what's going on, like sometimes I still have no idea myself. But if you have any questions, you don't know what's, what's happening, um, let me know and I'll try to explain it. Because that's always what I notice is that that's what Peter also said. Like he saw me play the game a couple of times and he's like, I have no idea what you're doing. I have no idea how this game goes because I think it might be quite tricky to get into if you've never played it before. All right, so these are perils. So these are basically negative creatures um, that you, you definitely want to kill. And if they kill you, I think they will also poison you. Greywinged, I for one welcome our new King Jordy. Well, thank you. I was just I was just talking about you, how you snatched my win from under my nose back then. <laughs> okay, I don't think uh, neither of them won. Key yes, welcome in. Explain it. So basically, uh, in in short, uh, it's a board game where the goal is to kind of dethrone the king because he is um, ill. Uh, I would like a spell card. Minus three health and and turns immediately. Okay, that could be good. I don't have a lot of, lot of magic, but that's okay. So you know, you have the king, which is down here. They are poisoned, and we need to kind of make sure that we kill them and take over from them. That's basically the gist of things. Okay, I can go to my quest area, which is good. So let's do that. 50% chance of getting a spirit stone or, the, or minus two health. Well, we're going to go with that. I always try to follow the stones, but that's obviously not going to happen because they spin very fast, as you can see. Um, well, that was lucky. Yeah, we got our first stone. Nice. And we got some prestige as well. So you we can see down here we have one prestige, which is behind me, but it is there. Um, all right. End turn. Me? I would never do such a thing. I honestly don't think you can follow them. Like they've randomized after each, after they spin. Oh, you think? I don't know. They could be. I mean, in my mind, I can just kind of follow them, like, you know, like with, with those cups, you know, like three cups and they spin them very fast. But I think in reality, um, yeah, maybe not. You know what? I, you know, I mean, a way you could try that is like kind of um, record your gameplay and then play it back at like 0.1% and then kind of follow the one that is a stone and then do that like several times. So you have like a like a good sample size. Yes, follow the stones. I can and then maybe no you can satisfaction start me up and what other songs do they have follow the stones i can get no satisfaction <laughs> thanks for the biddies martin i appreciate it okay we need a new quest let's go for another stone quest which knowing my luck is going to be pretty far away yep there it is and i am all the way down here so that's going to take me a couple turns to get there So I don't know why, but I always thought this game was made by a Dutch development studio, but I actually learned that it's made by an Australian development studio, so it's not Dutch at all. Perfect. It is so. It is so. All right, so these are the king's guards. They also guard certain locations and, you know, they will fight with you if they have to. All right, so it's my turn. Um... Let's see, I want to get closer to my quest, of course. Actually, it might not take me that much turns. Yeah, I can get there in two turns. If I go here now, and then I can go there, unless, you know, the bear tries to fight me. But I think in two turns, we might be able to get there. Um, And we can go through here, and I might get health, but I'm not sure if that happens during the day as well. It does, perfect. Okay, that's good. Uh, And then move on there. Let's see, this, I think he is the prestige leader. Steel if, is prestige. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Let's do that. I'm going to take prestige leader from him, I think. 
which is good. Because the prestige leader at the end of each day gets to go to the king and we get to you get to turn you get to decide a um like a something that happens for like every every character in the game like all the characters get something and usually it's something bad but you know you might also use that to your advantage i guess Yeah, but you can choose something which isn't as bad for you and is worse for others. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's that's usually the idea. I can do that too. Alright, so they're actually having a fight. Oh, I'm, I just missed it. Uh, I'm gonna walk for a second to stretch my leggies. Be back in a bit. No worries! Please do stretch your legs. And while you're at it, tricks, get something to drink as well. Stay hydrated. You can watch the combat if you click on the sword icon. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I knew that. I, I just wasn't paying attention. So yeah, so River is an AI. They're, they're playing against the King's Guard. And in the middle, you have this burn down timer. Um, basically, you, you roll the dice and you get attack dice or defense dice. And if you burn your cards, you can get guaranteed either, you know, defense or attack, depending on which cards you burn. That's basically the idea. All right, so River was definitely uh, destroyed by this guard. Also, where is uh, Brun? Okay, th they're here, which is good, which allows me to go to my quest next time. Unless Barnaby is going to do something stupid. But I hope not. But Gray, how are you doing? I'm not even sure if I asked you how you were doing. Hopefully you're doing fine. You're doing good. <laughs> kind of sounds like the end of Michael Jackson's thriller. When you have the, uh, you know, the, the guy laughing. Kind of sounds like that. Oh, we got a stone there. So that's also something that sometimes happens. You have these stone circles and they have um, randomly a chance to guaranteed get a stone spawning in them. So that's kind of annoying because I was kind of close to that. I'm not going to be able to get there now in one turn. So either I decide to go back, get this stone guaranteed because Rob Brun can also get it in two turns, I guess. But I guess I might be sooner. Um, yeah, I can go like this, one, two, three, and I can then I can definitely get it. Maybe that's a yeah, maybe that's a good idea because I then I can guarantee get one, and then I can make my way over there, which is not a guaranteed one. Let's do that. Um, so we're gonna go to the stone circle first. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna go there, and then next time I'm guaranteed to be able to go in there. Quests are pretty important though. Yeah, because I think if you do like a certain number of them, I want to say like five or six, you also get a chance, I think, to defeat the king because then you suddenly did like something. Um, but I just want I, I just want to get that stone. And I think Bran is also after stone, so... Yeah. We'll see if this was a good idea or not, but... It gets your highest stats and eventually palace entry. Yeah. No thriller. We follow the stones. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. Vincent Price Jr. was the man who did the voice effect in thriller. Oh, I didn't know that. Also, I'm not sure if I know who Vincent Price Jr. is, but... Well, that's a nice little... Um, um, tidbit to know. Why is a German stone intelligent? I don't know why. Because it's not just a stone, it's Einstein. Ah! That's clever, I like it. Am I still prestige leader? 
I am. Okay, so I'm prestige leader, so now I get to choose one of these uh, declarations. Let's see. Fu Fugitives Unleashed. The king releases all prisoners of the crown. New king's trickery perils appear across the kingdom. Not necessarily good. The king has raised an eerie fog. All heroes gain stealth until the next dawn or until they are spotted. I mean, this is bad for me as well. So let's just go with this. this fog of war. Should be interesting. Which is like, you know, not necessarily amazing, but it's also not the worst. But thank you for the beatings. I appreciate it. That was actually a fun one. I like that. All right, so let's wait for the uh, guards to move up. All right, so now it's my turn. So I get to go into this area now and claim my stone, which is number two. Uh, and I guess I can basically go back immediately. Uh, and I think the best way is, yeah, the back going back the way I came. So let's do that. Uh, and let's end my turn, I think. Yeah. So now the thing is that everyone is, is stealth. So you can't see everyone's, you can't see anyone's movements because they are all stealthed. Um, so that could be kind of annoying. So we'll just have to wait on that. Wait, why did he unstealth? So how's everyone doing today, chat? Hopefully you're all having a good time. And a good Wednesday. And like I said before, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And if anyone has Armello and they're like, um... I would love to join in. Feel free to let me know. And, you know, like, we're, we're probably going to play, like, another game or maybe two after this. So if you want to join in and play a game with me, then uh, by all means, let me know. Killing Blue! So that killed uh, River. Actually, not the... Uh, wait. Yeah, so Barnaby killed River just now. For I think the second time, River is not having a uh, not having an amazing swell day. Let darkness spread. Let darkness spread. So that sometimes also happens, that perils, so like these dark beasts, that they attack the king's guard. Um, yeah. So it's not always that, you know, they always, they don't always just attack you as like a player. Um, they sometimes also attack the king's guard, which could be good for you because, you know, they, these, these guards can also stand in your way. So yeah, if they actually kill them, then that can help you. They tend to go for towns and just attack anything in their way. Yeah, exactly. So these perils, they basically attack any anything and any, everyone that they see. Um, I don't know where Brun went. I think they went somewhere here. So I'm guessing I can safely go here. And I think I can safely go into these woods. And let's end. One, two, three. Yeah, I need to end here. Otherwise, I can't make it to my quest next round. So let's do that. Tech, hello, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the pets. I appreciate it. Thank you. Also get behind the behind the ears. Very important. Yeah. Wait, yeah, there we go. Get behind the ears. 
always, yeah, always a, a tricky spot to get to. But thank you. So how are we doing? Let's see. Um, Brun got one stone, one prestige. I have two prestige and two stones. Hopefully three after like my next round. Um, River has zero prestige, no stones, no rot. And Barnaby three. Pro okay, so Barnaby is actually prestige leader now. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good too. Thank you. Other than, you know, being slightly hot and sweaty because, you know, the humidity. But other than that, I'm, I'm not too bad. <laughs> it is so hot. Yeah, like, well, it's, it's, I was talking about that earlier. It's more like it's very humid. Like, I don't know, what is it? Like, it's 18 degrees Celsius right now, which I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but um, I don't think it's, like, super hot, but it's more like it's very humid. Like, the humidity is really high. I did two hours of Beat Saber today. Ooh! Well, then I'm pretty sure you are kind of a sweaty mess, probably, as well. But you did burn, I think, a lot of calories with that, this so that's nice. This should be interesting. This should be interesting. Pay two gold? Well, I can do that. Humidity is the worst? Yeah. I was talking about, like, you know, an issue that I'm sort of having at, developed, I guess, this year, which is um, that my eyebrows sort of start to get sweaty now in these temperatures. And it's kind of very annoying since I'm wearing glasses. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry if that's TMI, but it's, it, it's, it's very annoying. I get sweaty eyebrows. I don't know why. It's the worst. I hate it. <laughs> I'm dead, took a shower after that, so less of a sweaty mess. So I always hate getting showers when it's like super hot like this. Because um, you, you, you kind of take a shower and unless you take like a super cold shower, you kind of come out of the shower more sweaty than you were when you went in sometimes. Same as like in, in the pool if you go swimming. Um, I love swimming, but then you go to the pool and then you take a shower at the pool and then you kind of you, you can never dry off. Because it's kind of always humid in like these changing rooms at the pool, so you never get really like dry. The glasses fog up. Well, it's not that they like it's it's not that they fog up. It's more like you know you kind of always sort of feel it. You like you always feel sort of like something in your eyebrows, I guess. Um, so it's like yeah, I don't know. It's just annoying. It's not like the worst. It's just an annoyance, I guess. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Oh, I didn't pay attention to where I should click. Let's just try that one. Ooh, look at that! Oh, that was a good that was a good guess, I guess. So that's stone number three. And also I got some prestige, so I'm not sure if I'm now the leader. I don't think I am. I don't know how that works, because we both have three. So I'm not sure who then gets to be the leader. The only time I take cold showers, I hate cold showers, but in this weather, I love them. I never take like a full cold shower. I The only thing that I do, I guess, is at the end of my shower, I, I kind of tend to lower the temperature a little bit. But I just, I can't do full on cold showers. It's, uh, yeah, no. My body is not made for that, I guess. I was almost going to say my body is a wonderland, but that's a song. That's not actually what it is. It says a tie. Prestige leader is whoever has had the many points longer. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, I need to select another quest. Uh, let's get another stone one. Oh, wait, waiting. Which is gonna be... Oh, are you kidding? Back where I was just at. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Also, Brun is now prestige leader. So it's not really uh, an issue anymore which of the two of us it's going to be. I start somewhere lukewarm and then m slowly move colder over the 30 minutes I spend in a shower. 30 minutes? Wow. I never tend to shower that long. I'm not a huge fan of, of showers myself. Like, I mean, I you know, I enjoy getting clean and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm never really like, oh, let's stay in the shower for as long as possible. Oh, 
Oh, killing blow. River finally had their revenge. Because I think they were killed like twice already. So now they finally had their revenge at being able to uh, do it back. I contemplate life choices in the shower. I need time for that. Yeah, that's well, that's fair. <laughs> Do you ever do you ever contemplate your life choice of getting staying in the shower longer? Because that could be sort of like an inception thing. Like, oh man, why did I decide to stay in the shower for this long? Well, I need to stay in here longer to kind of figure that out. But I don't want to because I feel it's a bad idea. But I have to because otherwise I can't. You know, it's like, ah! <laughs> I love nice long warm showers in the winter. In the summer, not so much though. Well, yeah, that's true. In the winter when I've been like outside or I've been on like on a run or something like that. Uh, and I'm cold, then yeah, then I like to, I like them to warm up. Um, yeah. <laughs> fear the night. Since I got the meter where I see how much the showers cost in gas, usually I do as well. Oh wait, like it, you, you mean that it doesn't cost as much as you would think? So you like to take long showers too? Wait, I'm here. One, two, three. Ooh, that's perfect. I can actually get that stone, even though it will cost me a pearl, but I will get a third stone. That's perfect. Um, Yeah, unless someone is here that is stealthed, but I don't think so. No, we're good. Nice. That is actually a stone that showed up at the perfect time or the perfect place. It's like, hey, this shower costs 35 cents, and I'm like, damn, I should take shorter showers. <laughs> Um, let's see. Do I want to burn anything? I can burn this one. And then let's hope the other two turn out well. Nope. Too bad. So if there's one thing that I hate about the characters that I can play the game with is that most of my characters don't have a lot of dice. I don't get that. I don't know what I need to do to get more dice. But like, I think all of the characters that I can play with in the base game, they don't have a lot of dice. Like, all, I think always four. Like four, maybe five, but then you have like other people, like opponents, and they have like nine dice. I'm like, what the hell did you do to get that many dice? And what do I need to do to get them as well? Like here, Brun has six dice. Wait, no, not, not even six. I think, what is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dice for Brun. And then Barnaby has six. And I have four. Honestly, it can be nice to run into a pedal once in a while, just to burn cards that are otherwise just sitting unused. Yeah, absolutely. That's true. Put a magnet during your gas meter and enjoy your shower. <laughs> Do you think that, you know, the, the gas company also thinks that? Like, well, I, 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 don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. My gas just didn't go up. I, I mean, hey, I didn't make the meters. You did. Dice determined by base fight plus equipment. Equipment is super important. Yeah, but I never seem to be able to get them higher because I do have some things equipped. Um, I got my torch and my bane blade. Um, which should get me four dice after each battle where I don't win or I don't kill my opponent, but I haven't actually had a lot of... Wait, maybe I should just battle someone just to see what would happen. Maybe that's actually not a bad idea because I am here. All right, I don't think there's anyone... Well, I can... One, two, three. I can battle this Bane, and then hopefully I don't kill it. That could work. Which I know is kind of a weird thing to say. Hopefully I won't kill it, because usually you want to kill the Banes, but I want to get some dice. You have like, what, nine dice? No, I actually still have four, because I haven't fought I haven't fought anyone yet. That's the thing. I haven't actually had a fight with another character. Only the Peril, so I, I, only, I still have four dice. Honestly, overall, I'm still not feeling too good about my, my opportunities of winning, my chances of winning. Um, like, I have four stones. I think I need to have six to be able to beat the king or to go inside and beat the king. So it might still happen. Uh, Bron has one and the others have zero. So, I mean, it's still an option. But the king only has four more days left. So, yeah. This should be 
So I could wait, but you only need four. But I think I needed five. I think before I actually had. I think I had like five. And then I got like this special quest that allowed me to go inside. Four stones makes you a spirit walker. Notice how you're all glowy. Oh. But what is that quest then? Because I, I know that I had a quest once. Ooh, that's good. Um, I had a quest once that I was... Um, when I had like... I think I had like five or six stones. And I was like, now you can go in. And I had to go in and I had to fight them. You also auto kill Banes if you click on them with four stones. Oh crap. So I can't actually do my thing where I wanted to kill... The, where I wanted to fight this Bane... Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's just see what happens. Because maybe I can also win on prestige. Because I don't think if I go into the castle now, I don't think that will make my chances of... You know, winning any good. And if I kill Banes, I at least get prestige. And then if we can just run out the clock on the king, and I'm prestige leader, you know, that could also be a, uh, a thing. So if we have more Banes that I could kill, and I can just take all their prestige. We could try that. Uh, do I have one more point? I do not. Okay. Depends on your quest progress. After you've done four, I think, uh, your fifth one gives you the ability to just enter the castle. Ah, oh, wait, maybe, maybe that's what happened. Maybe it wasn't the stones. Maybe I just did something else. Oh, wait, you're going to fight me? Oh, he can't because they don't have enough. Well, then I guess I'm going to fight you next time. And try not to kill you, which should be easy enough. And get four more stones or four more dice. Yeah, like I said, I've played this game quite a couple of times now, but I still feel very noobish when it comes to uh, like details like that. Like I know sort of the main thing, but like some of the details and, and strategies and such, I, uh, I still don't feel too knowledgeable about. Ooh, I wish I was here, because then I could just kill that one and get another prestige. You can cleanse the king with four stones, but you'll have to clear apparel if you haven't finished your quests. Ah, okay, so maybe that's what happened then. Maybe I just, I just happened to, maybe, yeah, maybe me getting that stone also finished up my fifth quest. And then that's why it gave me that special quest. Maybe that's it. Bane just gives you four dice. Yeah, but only if I don't kill them. And because I am a spirit walker, I can't not kill them. All right, let's, let's fight Brun. With my... Oh, wait, I have six dice. Why do I have six dice? Why do I have seven dice? Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, I might have... Oh, actually, I did get more. Okay, I did not realize that. I thought I actually got them, but I just got them... I just get them in the fight. I didn't know that. Oh, wait, maybe that does put me in a good position to kill the king. Because I, I definitely don't kill Brun, so that's good. Which gives me four more dice. Oh, wait, but I, I get killed, so I'm not sure if that counts. Maybe it doesn't. And I lose one prestige. Well, there we go. There goes my plan. Okay, I'm trying to think, what is the best course of action here? I can do another quest, which is over here, which would be my third. You also get an extra die because of your clan, uh, because of your clan if you fight at night. Basically makes you super strong, but it uh, makes it rough because you fight someone who has a lot of defense or something. The sword hurts you after. Oh yeah, because my, yeah, because the wolf clan is a night clan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many hearts does the king still have? Four? I'm trying to think, is it a good idea to go just, just try and make my way over to the castle and try to fight him? It might be. 
I think it also depends which side I go in. Like you have these two sides with the cup. I think that is one specific thing. And then you have these two sides with the flame, which I also think is another thing. I'm not exactly sure what each means, but... And again, people who are experienced with this game, they might feel that I'm definitely not um, playing the game in a smart way. But, you know, I'm still sort of learning, so. The cup wants to test your wits. And the fire wants to test spirit. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, here. Wits. A spirit. There's plenty of ways to win, so don't worry too much about that. Yeah, I always tend to overthink stuff like that. I don't know why. <laughs> with, with games like this, I'm always like, oh man, maybe people are like, dude, you're playing the game stupid. Streamer, streamer, please play the game well. Streamer, what are you doing, streamer? You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Let me know if I'm talking too much. No, great, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. Uh, okay, I want to get that stone and that quest. Let's see what we can do. And then I guess we can try and go in next time. 30% or minus 2 magic. Let's just give it a go. Maybe I'm lucky. I'm going to try and follow the stones. These two. They are going to be there. Oops. Well, oh man, I was going to click the same location, but I didn't. Okay. Foolish me. Um, okay. Yeah. Streamer, please get good. Streamer. Like that? Yeah, exactly that. Streamer, please. Why are you game playing the game so badly, streamer? Why do those quests always end up super far away? Like, I don't like that. Today's Global Day of Forgiveness, so he needs to say it's fine. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Streamer, please. <laughs>
yeah, I figured, you know, let's educate people about certain things. And I also discovered there's not an official furry flag, so I was kind of, I was kind of, you know, shocked by that. I mean, there is a flag for, like, the puppy community, but there's not a flag for the furry community, so I feel someone should, I don't know, get on that. I don't know, like, who the official flag committee is, um, but I feel there should be. Not a generic... I mean, I did find one on, on Reddit, um, but that was just, like, a... Um, that was just like a, a community made one like someone was like hey I saw there wasn't a furry flag so I made this but it's not I don't think it's like you know widely accepted as the official one like you know official quote unquote of course but um yeah I saw an official unofficial one on Twitter yeah yeah I saw it on on um on Reddit so I think we're talking about the same one that's more pup maybe yeah so the pup flag is basically the um BDSM leather flag so like the I think it's like red uh blue and black bars no wait i think it's just black and blue and white maybe i don't know by the top of my head and then there's like a bone like a puppy bone or like a dog bone in the center that's the one for for the puppy community um it's very sexuality though well no it's not a sexuality but it's it's a subculture so that's you know i also have subcultures in the redeem thingy so it's not just sexualities or gender identities it's like yeah more more than that all right let's see we can go in the Castle. And again, I have no idea if it's a good idea. But you know what? Let's, uh, you know, YOLO. I'm so sorry that I said YOLO, by the way. I didn't want to do that. But let's see what happens when we just try and go in. Enter the palace? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, I should have, like, a ton of dice, which is pretty awesome. I mean, we have, like, what? What is that? Nine? Ten? I don't know, like a lot at least, so... And we killed, you know, we killed the doggo. And I don't think there's any others in the castle, so that should be good. I don't think there's any other um, guards currently here. <laughs> Wait, does this mean we can actually m m kill the king? Is this like, can we make this the killing blow from the king? Um, if we get at least this peril going, which I think we are not. Ooh, just one more. <gasps> ah, so close. Okay, so that's not good. Oh wait, he. Ah, oh, that draws me back out. Okay, so I need to get health. Um. Play to creature any time. Wait, could I have used this on the king? No, probably not. <laughs> that would have been nice. Okay, well, that was a that was a a, a bad attempt. Yeah, I, I should have used it on the pal. If I did use the one, then I probably was good. I'm judging you hard for saying that. I know, I know. I don't, I don't even know why I said it. I feel so bad. Well, at least, I'm, well, I only have two health, which is kind of annoying. Um, but I'm going to try again next time. Although I'm not sure. Wait, is it clever? Because I don't think that... W wait, I don't think there's any more guards. So the only thing that we have is the peril. And then we need to fight the king. I mean, if we go first to the stone circle, get one more health back and then back in the castle, that might help. That could be a thing. Because I don't think one, two, three. Yeah, we can't go here first and then go in. That's not going to work. Um, I could also go into this pal, but I also have four there, so I don't think that matters. So if you have four stones, you don't need to fight the king. Just get to him. Oh, wait. So if I've made that peril just now, I would have won. <gasps> I just cost me my own win. Is that what you're trying to say? That I basically killed my own game just now? I could have won the game? Oh wait, the guards are back! Dang it! I should have... I... Uh, uh. If we lose this, that will do it's all on me. Well, it's, I mean, it is regardless because no one else is playing with me, but yeah. 
I could have gotten it, I guess. And now this guy is gonna fight me. Perhaps kill me, which makes me go back to the start. I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> and we are, well, we're not dead. But, you know, it's, it's, it's close. Although I think we might get, oh wait, we are dead. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we are here. So we have to, we have, we need at least two turns to go back to the king, to the castle. Um, and we have to worry about these guys because they will attack us when they see it. I think, unless, wait, is my bounty gone? Why do I see that again? Do I have a bounty still on my head? Oh, I might not. Hmm. My bounty is gone. Yeah, so that could help. So that means we can also go... One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We can just go to the stone circle. Um. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Let's see. We can go here, then we get some gold, but... We don't need that. Yeah, let's just go to the stone circle just to be safe. Because I don't want to fight that that bane over there. Alright. Next round, hopefully. It's fun though, I've never actually played this game single player. Um with, you know, like, AI opponents. That is actually surprisingly still, you know, a lot of fun. Are you gonna get your first stone, Barnaby? It's, not, it's gonna be too late, though. Is he still prestige leader? Yeah, with... Wait, no, he's not? Wait, who is? Um... <laughs> I got one... Oh wait, but Brun is. Okay, so I just need to make sure that the king survives. Otherwise Brun will win. It's a really nice way to learn about the game, honestly. There's a lot of interactions in this game that aren't immediately obvious at all. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, my turn. Okay, I don't see any reason why we can't. I mean it's nighttime, which gives us another die, which is good. Alright, let's go. Let's go through here just in case. And enter the palace. Wait, this is a peril? Wait. We don't have to fight anyone? Can I burn them all? No, I can burn this one. And I can burn this one. And then I just need to have luck on the other two. Fingers crossed! One? <gasps> wait, wait, did I win? Did I, I, I beat the peril? Does that mean that I won? Wait, not yet. Okay, so I'm, I'm in. So now, now I just have to wait for like, like another round, maybe? No movement to or from tile until dawn. Can I cast that on me? No. Okay. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens next, chat. Maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe I, next time I just have to fight the king. And then... You know, that's it. Wait, Brun? Oh, Brun is gonna be like, yeah, I'm not gonna have let you have this win. Come on, can't you just let me have this win? Like, I don't know, is that really too much to ask? This would have been my first win. Like, can't you just let me have it? Like, you're an AI. Like, next time you can get it. But, you know. Yeah, go away. Yeah. We don't want you here. Okay, River, where are they? I think they're definitely not nearby. Oh, wait, they're here. But they're not coming to me. Okay, where's the other one? Where is, um... What's their name? I think they're, they're stealth, so I don't think we can see them. I'm so excited, chat. This is so, like... 
anything can still happen. I'm like, I'm so close, I can smell the victory. Um, but at the same time, you know, someone can just swoop in and, and take it away from me. Basically, someone has to either kill you or have a favorable combat with you, where they do more damage than you do, which causes you to retreat. Yeah, I wanted to push, I wanted to play that here, but I can't. Okay, so Revra is dead again. Barnaby, where are you? Ooh, Barnaby is here. Wait, can I still play this here? Okay, so he's not going to be able to come here, so he can't come to me. Or he would have to go all around, which there's no time. So he can get into the castle, but I don't think that means he can fight me. <laughs> so unless the guards now move to me next round, I think I should be good. But I'm not sure if the guards will move. Also, I don't know if this was necessary or not, but well. Okay. Dawn of day eight. This is either it or it's not. If we don't kill him now, if we don't win, then we lost because then I think we can't go in. <gasps> oh, I still have two health left. Okay, I still have two health left, so... He's going to move, but he's not going to fight me. Oh, he is going to fight me. Are you? Are you? Are you? Okay. I'm not sure if I want to burn this, but... Okay. Here we go. Come on. Give me all the defense. I need defense. I need one more defense. Or, or like that, I guess that works too. Annihilation, wow. Okay. So I killed the, I killed the guard. He's out. That guard stays there. Or he moves there, but he doesn't move to me. Oh, he does, oh. See, this is what I was saying. So close. Wait, where's the music? Is the game also knowing how how this is like the deciding battle? Okay, come on. He can't hit me once. If he hits me once, then I'm out. So I need more defense. Oh, I need one more defense. Mm. Stupid gods! Wow. Wow. That's it. I'm done. That's it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I can't win because the king only has one heart. So, like... You know, there's like no way that I can get to the king with my one heart. Wait, why is my VHS tape not working? What's go wait, what's going on? Um, wait, I'm gonna get an item. Oh, wait, I need... yeah? Uh, and a spell. Hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, one more? Okay, I'm trying to come up with like any way that I can still do this. I mean, we still have night time, so it might still be possible. So let's just go. Let's just try and go back here. What did I get? Wait, let's just go here. What's the prestige? Uh, Bron has like six. Uh, Bron has six prestige and I have like one or two, I guess. Um. Uh, tech, I'm so sorry for the VHS tape. I don't know what's going on there, but let me, after the game, let me check it out. And and see why that isn't working. And if I can, I will definitely refund your points. 
Um, you have a, a, a rot win. Wait, you have a rot, a rot wine. Oh wait, hot rot wine plus one action point minus one health. You know how to use that? No, how? How did I use that? Wait, okay. Um, there's no countdown timer. What do I do? What do I do with this? Do I play this to myself or what? Enter the castle, then use that on yourself when you're in the castle. Okay. So we'll have to wait, we'll have to end turn. I can't do anything right now. Yeah, I can't do anything right now, so let's end the turn. Okay. It's not over yet, chat, but... Well, it's definitely getting harder. Please don't stand in my way. Please move another... Th th thank you. I was like, please don't get in my way. I need to either have these, I need these two spots cleared. Otherwise, I can't get in. Okay, so River, where are you? Oh, you're all the way up there. Okay, so I don't have to worry about you. We still have Barnaby down here. Um, but he only has one stone to prestige. So I don't see him doing... Wait, are you going to go into the castle? I mean, you can. <gasps> you... When he dies now? No, not yet. Okay, so one thing that I can still do, because Barnaby is now here, which is very annoying, because then I have to fight him as well. I can also enter here, I think. I think I should be able to make that. One, two, three. No, I can't. Dang it. Mirror image for myself. And then fight Barnaby. In battle, opponents have minus two dice until the end of the next turn. If you win, you push him off. Oh yeah, that might work. Okay. And then I'm not going to play this just now. I'm going to play that once I'm in the castle. So I'm going to do this. Here. And then we're going to fight. Come on, Barnaby. How many health does he have? I don't know how many health he actually does have. Is he hurt? I think he is. Four out of seven. Okay. And he got minus two dice, so that's good. And I got like, what, six dice, so... Wait, he's got a silver lance? Oh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be bad. Alright, let's see. Fingers crossed, chat. Fingers crossed. Okay, I think... Okay, I, I, yeah, that's pretty definitive, I guess. Okay. But I can't use this on myself now, can I? Now use the wine on myself and win? Oh, wait. <gasps> Did I do it? <gasps> I think I did it, chat. Wait, I think I won. I did! Wow, this is my first win in the game, I think, honestly. <laughs> Yay! Ah, <laughs> oh, Gray, thank you for that tip. Thank you for that tip, because if you didn't say that, I would definitely, I would have just ended my turn and would have lost. Huzzah! <laughs> Well, I mean, okay, it, it was still against AI players, but, you know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Spirit Stone victory. I still take it. Ah, oh, I don't get another chest. That's a shame, though. Um. Nice. Oh, I got an amulet. I don't know what that does, but I, I got an amulet, so that's nice. Celestine, win five gays, games for the Wolf Clan. Five gays, wow. So Jed, do you want some general advice? I always do, yes, please. I believe the Spirit Stone victory with four unique clans. So wait, I need to play with all the characters and win with Spirit Stones to get that. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. My first win. Let's see, do I actually have a box that I can open? Because they always bug out when you get them. I don't think so. No, I don't. All right. 
was fun. I, I, I guess we're going to do another round because I kind of like that. Um, so I'm definitely going to do another one. If anyone wants to join and they have Armello, uh, f let me know and feel free to jump in. But other than that, otherwise, I'm just going to do another single player run. Um, mm -mm. Whew. Wow. Okay. Also, wait, let me quickly go and have a look at that um, reward thing that um, tech got because I'm not sure why it didn't work. It should have. Um, oh, wait, I didn't add that one. Oh, wait, maybe I forgot to add. Ah, why did I? Okay, that's stupid because I checked it and then apparently I, for I still forgot to add it. Wait, give me one second. I'm gonna do that. Um, don't re don't redeem any channel points for a second, so I can quickly check why that didn't work. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's gonna be um there. All right, I think. That almost does it. Uh, let's see. Custom black. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, how did I do that last time? Wait, why does this not... Wait, that doesn't work. Okay, I need to look into that. I thought I, I got it working, but I guess apparently I do not. Because if I enable it, then you see the black background, which obviously we don't want. So I need to kind of figure out how I did that. Because I know we had it before, but I don't understand why it's not properly... Wait, you uh, unless you guys... Yeah, you see the black background. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, hmm. That's weird. All right, I'll have to, I'm going to have to look into that. Because I thought, yeah. Because I also made this, and I think that should work. Yeah, that does work, the pixel one. So that's good. Um, yeah, so that should work. All right, I'm going to have to look into that in the morning to see why that didn't actually, why it gives you that weird black background. Because I, under I don't understand. I don't understand. Let me try one thing, if I can find it. Mm. Nope, that isn't it. Okay. Then I'm going to have to look into it later. Um, that's something I can put on my list of things I need to check. All right, let me scroll back and chat for a little bit. Um... You probably want to be cycling your hand more often. For most of that game, you kind of just had cards you weren't using. It sucks when you get rot cards since you burn, they burn as misses, but it can still be worth to find a battle or peril to burn them so you can draw new ones. A character in particular loves cards that have sword symbols. Since he burns those, uh, they get PS. And having a good hand to burn in a really important fight or the castle peril is super helpful. Yeah, there's a lot that comes with experience and understanding character. Plus. Yeah, so that's one thing that I'm, I mean, I still sort of, um, not always have the chat like the the I, I don't always know the difference between for instance spell cards and trickery cards even though they explained it in the tutorial uh, I guess I kind of missed that or forgot about that so I always kind of just take one at random which I know is not the best strategy obviously um and like I said I just hated how my main characters the ones that I have they don't have a lot of dice to start with and I know that some of the other uh, other characters they have like many dice but i i'm not sure if that's just like an if that's like a me issue or just like the, an issue when you don't have the dlc because i think wits are for the dice and i just have three here uh and i just have this i think this amulet or like one of the yeah this amulet gives me one more wits um but yeah that's it absolutely this game is a pretty big learning curve and you're still new Oh, wait, fight gives you... Wait, fight gives you more dice? I thought it was wits. 
Oh, wait, then I need to get an emulator with more fight. Plus fight. Huh, what does wits do then? I always thought wits decided the amount of dice you have. Wits gives you more dice and trickery pals. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so okay, so now he has more fights. My ring, uh, magic for every kill in battle. I guess that's good. I don't have other skills. I don't have other bows. And I mean, I kind of like my dice, so I guess that's good. Yeah. All right, let's save that. And let's have a look at my other... Because I like Brun too. Let's select them and let's see what I have. One body. Okay, so one fight might be good. One magic for every spell card burned. Okay, let's keep that. Oh, wits are cards. That's an issue with every character, pretty much. Every character has one stat that's lower than you usually want it to be. Yeah, because I've played with other people that actually do have a lot of the DLC, and they always had characters that had, like, I don't know, they had, like, eight dice, and I was like, wow, every time I fight them, I'm super, like, underpowered. Um, Like, for instance, Sana, Sana she only has one or two to fight. Which, of course, we can, you know, increase to three, but it's still not, you know, not like a lot. Bron can have pretty huge fight if he casts a lot of spells before combat. He gets plus one for a turn that stacks when he casts a spell. It depends a lot on that equipment, too. That's another reason to cycle cards. Sane has a really bad fight, but is an amazing spellcaster. Yeah, let's play another game. Actually, with Brun. Let's see if we can do that. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, actually, I need to get a free chest. I always forget about that. I can get a daily free chest in the shop somewhere. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can actually open it, because like I said before, that's always an issue. Oh, we got a red dice. Nice. Wine dice. Well, I like wine, but I don't necessarily... You know, care too much for this dice. I don't think I can transmogrify them though, so. I have two of them. I want some of the cool dice that some of these other characters have. There's so many cool dice. Alright, let's play with Brun, the cute big bear. Uh, it depends a lot. Oh, wait. But yeah, you're not always going to be the strongest at fighting in a game. But there's always there are ways to win without it. Yeah, and I think those ways, I think it pretty much what you guys were saying comes down to, um, you know, knowing, just, you know, like experience and knowing more of the game. Oh, I don't want to play against my, my doggo friend. Let's see. Say now, let's play with um, this, what is that? Like a rat or something? Um... I don't want to play Thane. Let's play against Mercurio. We don't have any wolf clan, but that's okay. We don't have we don't need to have all the clans in the game. Alright. Is that a possum? Well thanks for, for hanging out, guys. I appreciate it. And and thanks for Sticking with me, even though, you know, my bad game <laughs> game experience. <laughs> Although I did win, so, you know, I mean, there's that. The race for the throne has None begun. Shall rule. Well, we'll see about that. Greetings. Okay, so uh, let's try something different. Let's not try and go for a stone win. Although I kind of do like that. What else can we do? I think so, or a weasel. I think it's supposed to be a rat, not sure. I oh, know this is fine, I'm honestly just a, a, uh, just a huge hacking nerd about this game. <laughs> well, I love it though. Like I said, I mean, I don't like don't see of it as backseat gaming because you're not telling me directly like what to do. You're just sort of giving like information and I like that. Um, In perils, plus two dice. Wait, you know what? Actually, I might go for one of these, like a recruitable because I didn't have any last time. So let's do that. 
Maybe we can try and go for a prestige win, but I think that's always pretty difficult. Off turn, fast forward and locked. You can now speed up the game by uh, during other heroes. Uh -huh. Use this sparingly as all Armello masters know the majority of Armello strategy occurs during off turn gameplay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that, so that we're good. Um. Okay, so my quest is over there. I kind of want to get to city. So... Or village, whatever. Always happy to be here and you're picking up things really quickly. Thank you. I appreciate... Well, I, I mostly appreciate you, you know, enjoying your time here. That's, that's good to hear. And it's always good when, you know, it's always nice when you guys are here. So I very much appreciate and value that. Wait, I didn't have... Oh, no, I had a tree. I didn't have this... What is that? Like, sun guy? <laughs> I can't go here, so I can only go to the swamp, but then I lose one health. But it is the quickest, so I'll, I'll take it. It's just one health, so, you know, well, we, we can probably deal with... I mean, we can go here next turn and, and next turn and get it back. Help dialogue isn't the best, honestly, because uh, AIs do their turns super quickly, so you don't get much time to strategize during their turns anyway. Yeah, and honestly, like my, I guess my, um, well, I don't want to say my ADHD, but like, you know, my uh, lack of attention span, my short attention span, I, I don't necessarily focus on what they do anyway in their AI turns. I just kind of check where they are and that's it. I don't really pay attention to what they're doing. <laughs> Maybe I should, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually noticed that about myself too in when I was playing with like actual like with you guys or with other like human players. I noticed that in like their turns I I didn't always focus on what they were doing even though I probably should. Wait, that was, a, that was the AI turn already? Wow, how quick was that? I mean, I guess that's what you were saying, but still. Okay, let's go... Ooh, I kind of want to go here too. Okay, let's go here. Then we we'll go here. So we can do the quest. Oh, we first have the peril. Um, I can burn that one. Not a massive important one. I only have two dice though. That's what I hate with perils. Not having enough dice. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Steal two cards. Nice. Well, thanks. All right. Paying attention to here. And I'm going to go for this one. Mm. I wanted to go for the other one. I should. I. You know what? I always should go with my gut. Because I always notice that when I, I, I decide to change because I figure, I, I kind of instinct, instinctively feel, yeah, it's not going to be here. Every time when I do that, it is going to end up where I want to go first. I should make that a lesson. Um, and let's go there. Oh, we get a free stone. Nice. I mean, we're not going for stones per se, but, you know, I, I, I don't say, I'm not going to say no to that, so... Let's see, select quest. Oh, I like this avatar. It's kind of cute. Look at this guy. I'm glad to see you. My parents are talking about scary things. Mm. All the way over there. Wait, where are you? Oh, wait, he's stealth. So we can't see him. Mercurio and Ember. I may have done another cheeky cheeky on Steam this time. Dude! Wait, can we see that from the in game Steam thing? Can we? What did you do? 
Wait, there's a guide on, on the Steam overlay. How to win at Armello. Well, that's actually a good guide. I, maybe I need to read that. <laughs> Wait, can I see the things on, on the... No, I don't think I can. Okay, wait, let me let me wait until I can pause the game. What did you do? Well, I mean, if it's on Steam, I, I have an idea of what you did. Didn't didn't we didn't we just decide that you were, you know, you were done doing cheeky chickies? <laughs> yeah. I love my ear wiggles. Aren't they cute? Aren't they the cutest? I mean, no, they're not cute because I'm not cute. Oh, we got a gust of wind. Well, Gray. Let's pause the game if we can. We can. Gray, I hope you're done. I hope you're ready for a gust of wind because, um, or, you know, I hope that you are sitting down and holding on to your chair or whatever it is that you're sitting in because here comes your own personalized gust of wind. I hope you're ready. There you go. I hope you're still there. I hope I didn't blow you away. What does this do? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably one of my least fun channel point redeems, but you know, that's why I, I made it. 1337 points. <laughs> okay, let's see what, what Trix did. Trix did something naughty. I hate that. Oh, hi, honey. Hello. Oh, you actually got me one of the DLC, the Bandit Clan. Oh, Trix, wow, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. I don't know which, I don't know what that adds, but, uh, you know, I guess we, uh, we can play with other... Oh. We have a doggo. I think, I guess we can play with other characters now. Or, well, not now, but like after that. Thank you. But again, you didn't have to do that. You are such a sweet bean, but... Well, I hope you know you that I, I, I love you, regardless of your cheeky cheekies. Just saying. Cheeky cheeky. Cheeky cheeky. But thank you. Also, Pup Mason! Hello, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Definitely cute. That's a lie. That's a lie. You can't tell lies. I'm not cute. Look at me. I'm not cute. Wait, wait. Uh, can I look angry? See? Yeah. I'm not cute. See? I'm, I'm looking sternly at you guys. Yeah. My wob wobbly ears are cute. I'm, they're not cute. I mean... Maybe, may, maybe a little, but, you know. Okay, well, maybe my ears are cute. But just a little bit. <laughs> okay, a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, well, then they're stupid. Oh! Wow, so if, if they're not cute, they're instantly stupid? Wow. 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 Is that what you want? No, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. Uh, Pup Mason, you're good? How, how am I? I'm doing good too. Yeah, I just had my first win in Armello, which I'm still, you know, very, um, yay, happy about. Though, I mean, I have to say, uh, it was also a, you know, a, a grey-winged win, because, you know, they helped me quite a bit, but still. Still. One looking sleepy or sneezy. <laughs> Zosha. Perfect. It is so. It is so. But I hope you're having a good uh, Wednesday, pup. Thanks for coming, stopping by and coming on in. All right, where are we again? I totally forgot where we were. Oh, here we are. Okay, drawing cards. Well, I didn't have, I don't have any anymore because someone stole them from me. Oh, a taste, a trusty shield. I thought a tasty shield, but a trusty one. So yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get a spell card, and let's also get a trickery card. We just have one of of all of them. Uh, I am gonna equip this because I have coins for days. 
Uh, let's see, what was my strategy? I had a plan. I had a plan. I think. Oh yeah, my quest was over here. I think that was my plan, to go to my quest. Um. Yeah, let's do that. And let's try and go through here. Because I do want to get more prestige. That's kind of also a secondary objective. Wait, four? Okay, wait, can I burn something? Okay, let's burn this one. And also let's burn this one. I'm probably not going to use it anyway. Knowing myself. Ooh, yes. Ah, oh, one shield. Okay, those perils? I don't, I don't know. Maybe Brun is not the best for perils. King's Decree, Jordi is cute. It is so. <laughs> it is so. Can I can I counter that? Do I have a counter card for, for that King's Decree? I mean, hey, in, in all fairness, the King is clearly suffering from some kind of debilitating disease. So, um... Like, you know, like, what, what does he know? Maybe maybe it's just his, his illness talking. Or maybe he's heavily drugged so that he can still sort of survive. I mean, we don't know that. We don't know what kind of medicine he's taking to fight his illness. I like these dice. I want to have better dice too. So, so far, I'm not doing too good on prestige. Um, although, actually, no one else is either. So, if I can get one, then I am instantly the leader. So, you know, that's that might be a good thing. But I don't see many ways to get prestige because there's no Banes nearby that I can kill. We have one over here. Oh, and, and we have one over here, but I'm not going to be able to get to him in one turn. What are other ways to get prestige? Gain prestige by performing heroic deeds. Yeah. Killing other players and doing your quests also give you prestige. Oh yeah, doing my quests. That's actually a good one. Which was obviously what I was planning to do anyway. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, I can't make it in one turn. Because going over the mountains takes two uh, action points, so... Oh wait, and once we are there, once I'm here, I might as well kill this one too. Oh! Well, here we are. Here we go, one is fighting me. Even though I didn't want it. Okay, let's kill it. I don't have any cards to burn, so it's it's all just about my dice. Okay, that's not gonna happen. And I am also not going to come out of this alive, clearly. Wow. You little b Killing Banes, killing other players. Uh, or rescuing a burn burning village. Other than that, there's some equipment that increases your prestige. Yeah, okay, let's get an item. Plus two magic, okay. Let's get another item. Equipable. Minus one action point in battle, plus three shields. Well, I kind of like my action points though, and they're not too much as they are, so you know. Steal one health unless target is protected by stone wards. I love these card animations too, they're so cool. Okay, we can try that again though. Um, Steal one health. We do gain one rod, but I might make... I might be able to... Oh, cannot play from clan grounds? Okay. At least it has one less health. So now we can fight it. Heavy armor makes you move slower around the map, but it's a huge combat buff. Nice to put on when you are storming the, uh, the castle. Alright, so we get one shield. Alright, let's see. Let's see. We need three attack at the minimum, so ideally four. There we go. 
Okay, so we do kill it. And it kills us as well. So I'm not sure if we still get that prestige, though. I think we should. Despite it killing us. At least I hope so. I mean, we did save this... Bur yeah, there we go. We did save the burning village. Like, we, we did help them. We also lose one for dying. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still burning. So maybe we can still save the village. By, I don't know. Peeing on it and, and then, you know, putting out the fire. And I think we are now the leader as well. Oh, wait. Zosha is because they got one just now. Oh wait, oh you you just, Ember, you just take my prestige. I was gonna save that village. I was gonna be the hero of that little village. And now you swoop in, being all heroic yourself. Well, thank you, Ember. Thanks, but no thanks. Under my name, it is law. So I actually don't have a lot of like strategy on how I want to win this game. I was going to go for prestige and I still can obviously, but you know, I only have one. She has two hearts though and I got five. I don't know why five. Okay, so what does scout do? Because I, I've seen scout cards and I like it's a thing that I've seen before, but I'm not necessarily sure what it does. Oh wait, prevents creatures from evading and reveals hidden objects like quests. Oh, that's actually nice. Gain scout on all of your perils. Okay, let's equip that. Okay, let's fight Ember, because there's a good chance that I might beat her. And then I can take over her village as well. You have a reasonable amount of rot now, so getting more is a possible option. How many do I have? Did, did I have... I can't see that here. Oh, she's got quite a bit of dice as well. Fast Glacier, hello! Cute face rank, thank you! Scout is a bit confusing. It basically lets you see all the tiles adjacent to the tile you have scout on. Seeing a tile lets you see any perils on it and also means you can see stealthed players on that tile. Ah, oh, we didn't kill her! Dang it! How many hearts does she still have? Two? So that literally did nothing. And if I die, then I lose my prestige. I kind of want to try again, though. You know what? Let's let's just do it. I mean, yeah. May not have been the best course of action, but sometimes you need to take a risk. And just hope that, you know, she has bad a bad roll. I see. I see. I see. This is actually good. Four, five... I think we got her. Yeah. And she did not hit us at all. Nice. See? Taking a risk sometimes pays off. As this clearly demonstrates. And that makes us prestige leader. Uh, and we don't have a... I was going to say, we don't have a bounty. So this, this guy is not going to attack us. So that's good. Uh, the only downside is that we only have two health left. So, you know, that's a bit of an issue. But... Oh, and now we do have a bounty. Thanks, Zosha. I will break you, Zosha. I, I kind of like this, you know, this is a good game. Especially, for instance, like on Friday as well, when we're going to continue with The Wolf Among Us, we're going to play one more episode of that. And this is actually a fun game to play after that. Because, you know, it also works very well with my rig. Like, it's not too heavy on resources, which is good. Um, yeah, it's just a nice game that I can play while chatting and interacting with all of you as well. So, I like that. Never shall you rule. Never. 
Am I still the leader in prestige? I still am, yes. Why is her Zosha's prestige blue though? What does that mean? By a thunder night sky, they arise. They arise. So I can try and get more rot indeed, and then I can become corrupted. And I think if I have more than the king, who has four, so if I have five, I think that also helps. Can I don't know exactly how I win with that, but then I can also win uh, with that as well. Was increased above his actual value by an equipment ring, amulet, etc. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's go. I don't want to die, but like the only way... Oh, actually, no, I can actually go here, which calls me 2 AP, but that's fine. And then we can go into this woods. And then we can go there next time. And we can... Get one health back. So I'm going to have to remember that tomorrow I'm going to have to look into some of the effects. Because um, recently I had to reinstall my entire PC and that also meant reinstalling OBS. And um, I, I, I did have sort of a backup of things, but it didn't work. So I had to remake all my scenes and such. So, um, But now I have it saved in my Google Drive. So like whenever my PC would explode, at least my entire OBS installation with all the configuration and all that is going to be saved because it's in the cloud. So unless Google also <laughs> explodes, that would be kind of an issue. Um, but I'm hoping that just doesn't happen. But I'm going to have to look into everything and see like if all the effects on the face rig also work. Because I, I did set them all up for my face cam. But especially if I want to use my face rig a little bit more often now. I'm going to have to make sure that they all work properly there as well. So that's going to be a nice job for me for the, for the morning. Oh gosh, I had to do that recently too. I think I may have to re completely redo my scene since WebSocket is really unhappy with something I did with groups, even though I've removed all of the groups now. Oh! What, then what's the issue? Or do you don't know that? Could it be that maybe you have something in like a Leon board setup that is still triggering a group which you don't have? And if you do redo your scenes, um, like if you have to, if you're gonna start from scratch, um, I can highly recommend, you know, setting it up in like a Google Drive or like a Dropbox or like any type of cloud platform so that, you know, at least it's always saved. Because um, I this wish I did that before. That would have saved so me quite a bit of hassle. Um, and it's relatively easy to do. You just, you just have to install OBS in like portable mode, which is super simple. And then your config files and everything is just going to be in one folder. Wait, who actually got Prestige Leader? Wait, did someone steal that from me? Oh, Zosha did. Huh. I said it before, we're gonna threaten Zosha. I don't like them. I mean, I, I don't wanna say like, hey, you need to do this, but more, you know, as like a general tip that, you know, setting it up in portable mode and then saving it in like a cloud, you know, at least everything is backed up always. Whenever you make changes or whenever your PC explodes or anything like that, at least your entire OBS and all your scenes are, um, in the cloud, so, you know, they're safe. Okay. So I kind of want to go to one of these Banes, so I can fight them, hopefully kill them. Let's see. But I don't think, yeah, there's none that... Actually, we can go there. Maybe we can get a Rot if we don't win. That could also help. We'll get one health. Let's go here. At least I hope that's how it works. Ooh, so close. Oh, wait. In battle, plus two shields and wear and never retreats. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we're totally going to equip that. Especially since it's free. It doesn't cost us a thing. Um, And I, can, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, well, the actual issue is kind of multifaceted. I can't access the muted status of audio sources through LB. 
And it's also having trouble seeing certain filters on certain sources. Huh. Are you sure that the, um... Are you sure that your Leon board is fully updated and also your WebSocket plugin is fully updated? Like it basically can't mute or unmute audio sources or consistently tell whether they're muted or not? Huh. That's weird. But what with the cloud explodes? Well, that's what I was saying. Like, um... You know, if, if Google explodes, that could be an issue. But I'm hoping that Google has, like, a lot of backups in place as well. So, yeah, hopefully that's not gonna happen. Very off, very quickly. <laughs> hey, Baki, welcome in. Hello, how are you doing? That equipment is so good. Yeah, I was actually surprised that I got it for free. I didn't have to pay a thing. And free is always good. I've updated every component. I also hard reinstalled OBS, backing up my scene collection first. Hmm. That's weird. And yeah, I wouldn't necessarily know exactly what could cause that from like the top of my head. That's always, like, also with my quick stream tip videos and such, that's always something that I find tricky in general. Like, I always love, you know, helping people when they in, when they get my Kofi things and everything, which, by the way, I will release another video later this week with another Kofi installer for your Leon board. So if anyone is interested in that, keep an eye out on my YouTube. Um, because it's going to be a simple widget, but I think it's it might still be, you know, a fun one. Um... But like lots of people always ask for like questions and I'm always very happy to help them. But you know, with there's so many different like facets and like variables that can, you know, make something not work the way it should, which also makes troubleshooting sometimes very difficult. And sometimes it's just user mistake. Like someone just did something not how they should. And sometimes it's just, you know, a random thing. Treasures don't cost anything to equip, but you can, can't get them randomly, only from dungeons. Maybe install Linux. <laughs> it's really a WebSocket issue, unfortunately, not an LB issue. So it's been tough to troubleshoot. Yeah, I'm doing good. Nice. Happy to hear that. Yeah, I was going to say maybe reinstall the WebSocket, but I'm guessing you, well, did exactly that. So, hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't know what that could cause. But that's annoying, though. Oh wait, there's a Bane here now too. Oh, which is gonna fight me? Perfect. Fight me! So I kind of want to get a rot from this guy because, you know, that might help. So let's see what we can do. I'm not sure how I get that though. If he, I think if he defeats me, which is very likely to happen, I think I will gain one from that. <laughs> wow, that was that was pathetic. Do I actually gain one? I don't know. Well, maybe not. Oh, yeah, I do. There we go. So we got four and I think the king also has. Oh, the king now has five. Okay, so I'm not fully above the king. Uh, I'm not going to get that stone because I think maybe stones minus health to corrupted creatures for each point. Yeah, so I think that stone will cure my rot. And I might, you know, I might be on point to get one of those. Um, let's use this. And I actually gain one too from that. That's perfect. Let's get... Um, a Bane here. Which gives me a rot. Which I, I mean, you know, we might as well go for that now. Because why not? Prestige is not going to happen anymore. Eight. Wow, this guy is uh, pretty powerful. All right, let's see. Because I'm not sure how a uh, win with Rot works if you want to defeat the king. Because I, ge I guess, yeah, he will... Um, I think, yeah, I think, I think, I think this is pretty, um, yeah, obvious. I think I have more than the king now with six and the king has five at the moment. Wait, I don't have six. Wait, I don't get an extra one. Wait, why did that, why did that not give me an extra... 
because now I'm on point with the king. Hmm, I thought it would give me an extra rot, but apparently it didn't. Since the new web socket, um, oh wait, it's nice that I don't need groups anymore, since the new web socket can resize nested scenes, finally. Oh, yeah, but wait. Oh, I think that also works in Liu on board then. I, I mean, I still use uh, certain things with groups, but I kind of like them. I don't mind groups, so um, I haven't actually set up things differently. Um, I also have a card that gives you plus one, so I can use that to, to become corrupted. I don't have that anymore, though, I think. I, I, I That's the one that I just used to summon this one. I guess when you're corrupted, it flips to you get... Um, you get one if you kill a bane. I didn't realize you lost the get one being a uh, get one upon being killed by a bane though. I've ever, I've had very buggy interactions with groups. Oh, you have? Huh. I mean, I think I mean I don't. To be honest, I don't really know too much about all the web socket stuff. I only use it because you know, like in Leo on board, you need it to to talk to OBS and like in other things, you need it to talk to OBS as well. That's basically what I use it for. Um, and the things that I use it with all work, so I guess, you know, I'm good. But I have no idea, like, how these web sockets, what they actually do and how to set them up other than that. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, 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 got it, got it. Wait, now I have six, though. I don't know what I did, but I now have six. Oh, wait, so you can see, you can see that by me glowing, like, purple or pink? That's how you can see that I'm corrupted. So technically, if I can get into the castle now, which is one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I can go in this side. That could work. At least, you know, we can try that. King's Decree, Blood Moon. Maybe it still does. Five or more is corrupted. Oh, I got one by the King's Decree. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I, I wasn't paying attention. I was paying, I was reading chat, so I missed that. But thank you. I mean, I could also check it over here, I guess. Oh yeah, every hero gains plus one. Okay, yeah. Hi, Jordy, you cutie canine. How are you back, quote? Hibaki, hi. Hello. I'm doing good. Thank you for the 100 biddies. That is so kind. Thank you. And I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you are as well. Hopefully you're having a nice, chill Wednesday. Did he kill the Bane? He did. Okay, so I can go to the King. If this guy is not going to be in my way, which I think he is. Yep. Did you have to do that, though? You couldn't just... Well, I mean, he only has one heart, so I could fight him, but... Um... See that one card from Target's hand? Could be good. I don't want to fight him though, because that gives me a... Um, that gives me a... Bounty. But I mean, I guess I have no other choice. I mean, if I go here, then I lose an, an, a, a health. So yeah. Yeah. All right, let's... Well. I mean, he's got one heart. So like, how how difficult can he be? I say that, and I'm pretty sure it's going to bite me in the ass later on, so don't quote me. Okay, well, I well, I got three. Okay, okay, we might be good. We might be good, but we'll we'll see, we'll see. It all depends on how much... Uh, ooh, one more, yeah, okay, good. Okay, I think, yeah, we got him, we got him. Bye! I'm doing great. Nice. I didn't notice you called him cute. I did not notice, no. But I'm not cute. I'm not cute. You might think I am, but I'm actually not. It's a trick or something. <laughs> okay. Again, I have no idea if it's clever that I go in... That I'm gonna try and fight the king, but I may—I guess maybe if I'm in and I use my my heavy plate armor, plus three shields, then I might actually be good. Also, thank you for the pets. I appreciate that. Also, but be sure to get behind the ears. That's important. Behind the ears are, you know, the best pets. Papa likes it when you get behind the ears. So do, do, it. do it. Yeah, there we go. Thank you.
Another one, the bisexual pride flag. I think we had that before as well. Getting in is going to be tricky though. Your wits and spirit are both pretty low. So wait, are you saying that it's not it's not clever? I shouldn't do it. I mean, I can I can use some of these. Like I don't care for this one plus one magic or two magic. I don't care for this one, so I can burn them. Wait, time for a new adventure. Lantern. The number of dice you get to roll once you are in there is either equal to your spirit or wits, depending on the little flag above them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, so I only have three. But I mean, that's going to be the case regardless, like all the always. And I need to go in at some point. <laughs> I think I could do with another drop though. Like I think the higher I have, the more dice I get. Or no, I just need to have one more. Crap, now it's the same as the king. Thanks, that's not good. So I need to get one more. Oh, wait, it's my turn. Uh, how am I going to get one more though? I don't think that's going to easily happen. Only reason to wait would be to either A, complete your quest and get free entry, or increase your wits and spirit for your quest. Yeah, my quest was over there. Uh, I don't want to go through the spirit stone because then I guess I die with six. Yep. That's not going to work. I can go here and try and get something. Yeah, let's try that because it's peril, so we might get something there. Lily Fairy, hello! Oh, thanks, auto smiley. <laughs> Unequip all items. Oh crap, that's not good. Oh crap, I don't want to unequip all my items. But I guess that's gonna happen because there's no way I'm gonna get one more. Wait, I don't know what just happened. Wait, are all my items unequipped now though? Yeah. Right. Oh wait, but they're just unequipped, so they I don't lose them. They're just not there anymore. Well, that's fine. I can just equip them again. I have enough coins. It's just like a hassle, but it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you know. Um, I still got two AP. Um, so let's just move my way to towards my quest. Yeah. I'm gonna be naked. All the items went back to your hand. I got some really bad news. My friend is MIA. Wait, like your friend, like in 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 like in the army or just in general? You like you like they're missing. That's uh, that's that's disturbing. All right, let's see. Bloodthirst, a flame. I mean, the army. I mean, well, I guess both of them would be disturbing, but yeah, just checking. Usually MIA is a term they use for the army, so. Wow, I hope everything is okay. But I'm sorry to hear that. Dawn of Day 6. So yeah, I'm nowhere near the prestige leader because, um, what's her name? Zosha has that. Oh, Mercurio, actually. Every hero's dirty secrets or hero's suffer minus three prestige. Well, I didn't have any to begin with, so... Wait, every hero? So that means... Zosha has two. Okay, so Zosha has two prestige. So that might... Well, I don't think I can gain three anytime soon. Otherwise, that could be like an alternate strategy. Yeah, not sure. I'm a lot closer to prestige leader. We had none to lose. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's actually good. In Afghanistan? Are they still fighting there? Wow, I didn't know that. 
But yeah, sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you know, hopefully things turn up, turn out well for them. So now we also have a bounty, I think. Okay, so it's my turn. Let's see. Um, yeah, you know what? I might just go for prestige now while, you know, while I'm at it. So let's go save this burning village. Help those people, those friendly, those nice people. And let's try and get closer to my quest. What does this cost? Plus two magic? I mean, I might as well use it. Why not? So I have more, you know, I can get a new card next time. Ooh, this is a nice card. I mean, it's not necessarily like a nice card. To, well, it's also a nice card to use, but more like I like the uh, I like the animation. Like, look at that. That's that's pretty. Using that glamour also can give you plus one fight for a turn if you use it before you intend to fight someone. And the one that I just used. How many hearts does a king have? Three. I'm actually kind of surprised, Gray. Uh, didn't you get this game when we played it with Hurry for the first time? Wasn't that also your first time playing this game? Because somehow you are super knowledgeable about it as if you've been playing it for years, but... <laughs> I, I, always, I always thought that, you know, when we played it together back then, when you stole my win, um, that, you know, that was your first time, so... <laughs> It was, but then I played it a bunch. Ah, okay, got it. I mean, I wasn't calling you out or anything. I was just more like, wait, wait. Did I miss? Did I? Did I misinterpret that? <laughs> I like how stream elements. I set that follow message. There's like three or four different variants, but I have a feeling stream elements keep using that one. I think it's the cutest. If you. If this tree makes you wag your tail, why not boop the follow button? Which you can do with either your, you know, your paws or your fingers or your snout. If you're like, hey, I'm, I'm, that's more my style, you can just boop it with your snout. Like, hey, I'm not judging. Alright, let's draw a trickery card. Okay, not the best one, but I'll, I'll take it. Okay, let's see. We got three AP. How many rot does the king have? Seven. Yeah, so we're not anywhere close to that. Oh, wait, there was a peril there? Oh, I didn't know that. I can't burn any cards. I can, but I didn't want to burn that armor, so this is probably not going to work. Well, it depends on which way I'm going to be forced off the mountain. Probably not the way that I want to go. Nope. <sighs> Thanks, game. Ooh, that gives me a roll, I think. Oh, I awoken a bane. Okay, so that's not the same. Is this my village? It is not. Okay. T D D. I like how all these birds are circling like the castle. You know, they 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 sense the king is weak, and they are looking for. I think for a prey. Okay, handsome folks, it's getting quite late, so I'm heading out for the night. Have fun with the rest of the stream and see you real soon. Uh, Tricks, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you again for, for gifting that DLC for Armello. Um, we're definitely going to be playing this more on stream because it's uh, it's a nice game that you can just, I don't know, like we can just end the stream with that. So I, I kind of like that. So thank you so much. 
Um, and thank you for gifting that art as well. Like I said before, I really love it. And it's super cute. So I really uh, appreciate that. I appreciate you. Love your face. And have a good night's sleep. Hopefully you'll, uh, you'll have sweet dreams. Dream of nice, fun, good things. And I'll talk to you next time. Okay, so prestige leader, I saw that someone got plus one. Oh wait, everyone has one. Wait, so wait, who's the leader then? Can we see that? Who is prestige leader? How can you see that? I think you should be able to see that somehow, but I'm not sure how. Or where. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. Bye bye! Oh wait, who is that? Zosha? Yes. Oh, Mercurio. I keep, I keep so. messing them up. I don't know why. Citizens scurry, locking themselves in their homes. Is this mountain still like? Can I still? Oh, it's fortified. Wait, what are you? Gonna, what are you doing? Why are you fighting me? I didn't do anything. Wait, did I have a bounty? Did I kill one of your colleagues? Well, then maybe I get why you are fighting me, but still. It's it's uncalled for. Okay, well, I'm guessing my defense is fine. Um, and my attack, well, it's not going to do anything. Bye! Okay, so I kind of still want to go over the mountain, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. Or I could go through here. Um, yeah, let's try to go over the mountain. Like, I mean, it should be possible, shouldn't it? Yeah, there we go. All right. The crypts. Mm, gain one rod. Yeah, I kind of want this puppet. I didn't get it. I did not get it. So that makes me lose one prestige and it doesn't make me gain anything else, I think. Oh, it actually makes me gain a spirit. So I have four now, but I have two health. So going into the castle now is not the best idea. I do want to go in through the um, through this side, though, with the flames. Um. And I don't have, yeah, I don't have, I'm not, I'm still corrupted, but I don't have more than the king. So that's not going to work. Actually, neither gain nor lose since finishing the quest gives you plus one. Oh yeah, that's true. So I just keep this. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Can I see what cards they have? I don't think I can. Wait. No, I can only see what they have equipped, not, not what they're holding. Costs one magic. You know what? I'm going to steal a card from you. Teleport to a tile. Oh, that's actually a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um. Oh, what's that? Valley of the Twirling Mists. Plus two rot. Yeah, let's get that. I love teleport. Yeah. I mean, you can now teleport here as well. I mean, we still have only two health. That's kind of annoying. So ideally, I mean, it sounds stupid, but ideally I want to die and then teleport here. Do my quest, get two rot if I win. And then I can go, I can enter through here. But then I first need to die, which is, you know, not something that instantly happens, I guess. Also, I love the artwork on this card. It's so cool. A 
I still don't understand why my why my rig always does like the um the random dab. I think it's because my my um my leap motion thinks that my microphone arm might actually be like an actual arm, so then it picks it up and then it does that. Oh, he's got a drop now. That's not good. If I want to, you know, if I want to get more than him, I need to do, I need to act quick. But again, I only have two health. That's, that's like the main issue that I have. Like, with two health, I'm not going to be able to fight, like, Perils or the King or, like, anything else. <sighs> okay, what's clever? What's a good thing to do here? We've got a hostile here. I mean, I can fight him, hope that he kills me. I go back to my clan grounds. Teleport back here. Get to rot, which still doesn't make me give more than the king. Or I can just step into one of these stone circles and that kills me instantly. Hey, teleport to your quest before you die. I think I can, but then I, I mean, my plan was to kind of die first, gain my health back, go to my quest because that makes me closer to the castle. Otherwise, I need to have, I need to take like two turns before I get to the castle again. So I wanted to use my teleport to teleport to my quest. When I have more health again. Um. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking what is a good thing to... I mean, if I step in here, I for sure will die. What quest number is this? I want to say three. Wait, can I see that down here? I think I can. Star casting? No. No, I don't think I can. With a book icon? Um, book icon. Oh, wait, here. Quest, yeah. Oh, wait, three out of three. Yeah, so I did one, two, three. So, so I think the next one is the, yeah, is the third one. So this one is the, is my third one. Because, oh, wait, you mean that if I complete that, that gives me free entrance into the castle? Get palace entry next. Yeah, but I only still have I only have two health. That's kind of the issue. And I guess if I get this, I might get more health. But that's why I'm not sure if that's if that's smart to do that first. So I think you might want to just teleport to it and try to die after. Yeah, but then I need I, it takes me more. It takes me like one, two, three. It takes me at least two turns. To get to the castle again if I die. And the king only has two more hearts. And two turns if that, like if I don't lose anything. That's my my main concern. Teleporting still leaves you with AP. Is there a stone circle near my quest? Yeah, there's like one right here and one right here. Do you think that's the best thing to do? Like, do, first do my quest, then go teleport there. Walk into the circle. But why? Okay, so, but why do you think it's better to do that than to kill myself now? Teleport to the quest next, complete it, and then I am, like, next to the castle with full health. And I can get, I can get, go in. That was my plan. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because that's what I thought. Like, I'm going to kill myself first, and then next turn, I can teleport to my quest, finish that, and then I'm with full health. I'm next to my... to the castle to gain entry to that with two more... um... rot as well. 
You're losing health over time to the rod, so you'll need more rod for the king, I think. Well, yeah, I, he's got eight. I get two if I win this, so that also gives me, puts me at eight. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna. I I I appreciate the advice. I'm gonna try and just see what happens if I take if I do my thing. Maybe it's a bad idea. It might just be, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm not saying that your thing was like you know a wrong, like the bad way of doing things. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I'm I'm gonna win this anyway. Like, I didn't have enough prestige either. Tough situation, yeah. It would be nice if... Um, Zosha could lose two prestige, but I think they at least have one from like an, like an amulet or something like that. Like an equipable. Call of the Worm. Oh, they won. Hey, good for them. And they get a stone. I like that little um, umbrella or parasol or whatever you want to call it. Kind of cute. I like it. All right, another day. King is almost dead with eight raw. Still prestige leader with three. And so it is. Desert that post and disappear? Oh. Wait, are they, oh, I think they're, oh, are they close? Wait, that's a weird cho choice to make. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say that I mind, but it's a weird. Unless they plan, because they, I mean, if they, if the king dies, they win. Because they have prestige lead. So why make it easier on others to go into the castle and kill the king and then win that way? Again, I don't mind. I'm 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 happy with that regardless, but it's just a weird choice, I guess. AIs do be like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can I use teleport now? Can I teleport here? No, not from clan grounds. Okay, so I need to use one AP to get out. And then I'm gonna go here. Out of range? Are you kidding me? I need to go one closer. Lame. Okay, so now I can. Plus two rot or one minus one health. 60%, so I think the chances of getting this is actually pretty high. I'm gonna go there. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that was that is lame. Hmm. I mean, seeing as the king is like almost dead, I have one prestige. Zosha has two. I don't see any way for me to get more unless I kill someone else, but there's no one nearby. Um. Yeah. Let's just go in. Let's just, uh, you know, let's see what happens. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap. No, stop. Can I, can I, can I cancel? I can. Oh, one more. Oh, come on. That was so close. Can I go back? No, I cannot. Okay. We can try again next time, I think. I think we have one more turn. Listen up, Brun. Dark leader. Oh, wait. Someone is fighting me.
Ooh, I got three more. Wait, this is Zosha, which is prestige leader. If I kill them, which I think is pretty likely. Ooh, I might get more prestige. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. This could still be interesting. Because they're not going to kill me, clearly. And I'm definitely going to kill them. If you live, I'd probably put on your heavy armor ASAP. Does that make me prestige leader? <laughs> it does, I think. Okay, can I put it on? Oh, it does. Okay, wait. Can I equip this now? Um, Wait, which one? Gain scout? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Because I'm prestige leader. The king is almost dead. Yeah, this could still work. I think as long as I don't do anything crazy. Let's see, I got four. They got one. One, zero. Yeah. I don't know how long the king still has. If he dies like next turn or the turn after that. Ideally, I get one more. Oh wait, does he die now? No, one more, one more day, one more turn. At dawn, yeah. So this is the last turn. Then he dies. Okay. I can fight this bane. Maybe get one more prestige just for like good, good luck. Oh, I need to choose a quest. Um. Yeah, let's just get that. I don't know why not. Oh, it's too far away. He always takes damage at dawn. Okay, let's see. Item. Minus two rot until the end of next turn. I don't want that. Scout. I don't want that. First two rot suns miss. Kind of defenses. All right, so that's not necessarily good. I'm thinking, shall I go for the bane? Try and kill it. Get one more prestige. But I, I think if I, if they kill me, I might lose one. So maybe it's actually better to just kind of stay out of trouble. And then just hope that the others don't get prestige. Because I think one is definitely here. Zosha is definitely in their clan grounds because they died. I don't know where that is. The Over the Bane. I think it's a safer win. Uh, con. Do I drop them now? I think I do. Yeah, five over four. Yeah, I do. And this one is this one is seven though, but I don't think it attacks me. I don't think it provokes me when I get close. So that's okay. All right. It just sits on the village. Yeah, it's just chilling there. Oh, I got an achievement. Unbreakable. I don't know what that does, but... Or oh, why I got that, but... Yay, for achievements. Alright, I got two, three, four, five, six... Okay, so I got quite a few defense, which is good. So my chances of winning this are pretty okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Attack. Okay, I definitely kill. I think I definitely killed it. With three attack? Yeah. We're good. We got this. Wait, am I going Oh, I might actually get the prestige win. Nice. Bye! Wait, where's my prestige? Hello? Game? Why am I not getting my prestige for winning that? You want this? No, I don't think I need... I should have. Yeah, I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't know. Attacking a Bane. Press tab. What's tab? Yeah, I got four. Oh, I didn't know this. I mean, I still, I'm still a leader. One, one, zero. So, I mean, I'm still, I'm still pretty confident that I might win this, but yeah. I think as long as Zosha doesn't get any now, I think we should be okay. Hard to get for them to get three in one turn. Yeah. 
And I think this is the last turn because I think at the dawn the king dies. So. Are we there attacking? Ooh, Mercurio's always, Mercurio is attacking. Oh, he loses. Nice. Too bad. I think I can technically speed it up by just pressing this, but let's not. Two AP. So Ember might get one more. Oh, we can't see that here. Ember currently has zero. So if they defeat the Bane, they just get one prestige. So like, you know, we can we can deal with that. We can live with that. Mythic, hello! Hello, how are you? So good to see you. Welcome. How are things? How is your how is how is your move? Are things are you are you good? Are you settled in? Okay, so she I think she gets the prestige, but she also loses it because the bane killed her, so you know. That's basically a a win-win loss. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's it. And who is prestige leader? Oh, but it is me. Oh, hi. Hello. I am the rightful heir to the king. Yet again. <laughs> Huzzah. Bow for me. King Brooklyn the first. Of Armello. Well, you don't have to bow for me. I'm not going to be that kind of king, though. But yeah. Nice. I think I got four achievements for that on Steam, which is also pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I'm doing all right. And yeah, mostly settled. Still need to actually hook up my desktop, though. Been assembling furniture and other stuff. Yeah, that's, of course. Um, did you get IKEA? IKEA stuff? If so, did you have your first IKEA fight yet? Or are you all good? How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. King Jordy, yeah. I still didn't get a new thing, but that's okay. Probably 10 games of Armella. Wait, I think I've completed more than 10 games at this point, but okay. Ooh, a favor amulet. Nice. Anything else? Nope. The nearest Ikea is far away. I've never actually been to one. You've never been to an Ikea? Wow. It's, it's quite the experience on its own. Royal Dice. Oh, I want one of these. Complete a prestige victory with eight unique heroes. Oh, that's not easy. I love these dice, dude. They're so cool. I hate my current dice. I want to get more special dice. Yeah, so we uh, we have an IKEA like pretty close to where I live. And basically our entire apartment, we have quite a few IKEA. Like we always joked that if you, you know, if you yell IKEA in our apartment, all of our furniture just hides because it's, you know, so much of what we have is from IKEA. <laughs> it's not, you know, you know, you know the thing is it's not the best quality, but this is our first apartment, even though we've lived here for, you know, eight years at this point, since we, you know, are not really able to get a house, like a good house at the, at the moment. Um, so, you know, it's, I mean, it's still, it's still good. Like, it's not the worst, but you can definitely see after a long time that it starts to kind of, you know, get some wear and tear here and there. But, um, it's, you know, it's okay. But the thing is, you need to, you know, you need to assemble it all, all yourself. And it's not always the easiest to assemble things. So when you're, you know, when you're doing that together, there's bound to be some kind of friction, if you will. So I, that's why I mean, like, you know, IKEA fight, because then you're, you're assembling it together and then... Your, you know, your partner's like, no, you need to do this. And then you're like, no, look at the manual. It says do this. And then you kind of go back and forth. And then you're like, you know what? Screw this. You, you fix it. And then, yeah. <laughs> it just happens with IKEA furniture. It's, it's just like a curse. There was an IKEA in Iceland. That's the only one I've been to. Oh, wait, that's very specific in Iceland. <laughs> uh, okay. Did we get any, um, I don't think I got the, um, I don't think the DLC downloaded while I was playing, I guess. Oh, we did actually. So what do I get? I got Twist, Little Light Paw, I got Silas, which is an otter, I guess. We got Horus, the Iron Poet, which I don't know what that is. And we got Scarlet, the Bandit King, which is also kind of cute. 
I don't know what else we got with the um with the DLC. So someone so uh, so someone gifted the DLC to me just now. Uh or at least one of the DLC, which is nice. But I'm not sure if I get like any skins or anything like that. I also don't think I have any boxes that I haven't opened. But let me check. I, I want new dice. I don't like my current dice. They're so lame and so boring. And then all these other heroes have like all these cool dice. I want those too. All right, let's see what's inside. Magenta muscle dice. Okay, I don't hate this one. It's kind of it's kind of cool with the with the sp spots on it. You can actually transmogrify dice. Yeah, I know, I know. I haven't. I've done that a couple times. I don't hate all of these, but I don't think I have enough though. For let's see, like I don't like these. I don't like apricot. I don't like that one per se. Oh yeah, and that's it. I can't do any of the others, so that doesn't work. Um, when you're done building it, there's only one more screw. Yeah, but that, that's also the thing with IKEA furniture. When you're done with that, then all of, always you you have one one screw or like one thing left, and you're like, wait, should we have used this? And then the ma the, the manual never says it, and you're kind of like, okay, well, um, I, I guess as long as our furniture doesn't fall apart, I think we're good. But you never know. It's always a, it's always a, a guess. Like, are we good? Are we not? You never know. Then you find out that you had to use the screw at the beginning. Yeah. Like somewhere where you're like, no, there's no way to fix it. All right. That was fun though, chat. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed playing this. So um, I think we're going to play this again on Friday. So Friday, we're going to start with... Um, we're going to start with another episode of um, The Wolf Among Us. So that's going to be episode four. And once we complete that, I think we're going to do another round of Armello. Because it's actually, it's, it's kind of nice. I've never played it like single player. Uh, but honestly, I enjoyed playing it single player. So um, yeah, we're going to do that. And if anyone wants to join on Friday, um, feel free to let me know and jump into a game. And uh, you can jump into Discord if you want to do voice chat as well. But um, yeah, definitely uh, I'm, I'm open for that. Thanks for the stream and for putting up with my nerdy butt. No, thank you for, for coming by and, and actually helping me with your nerdy butt. That was um, definitely very helpful. Um, so yeah, thanks for that. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to quickly see who we can spread some love over to. Who is currently live. Um, but I think I found a cutie. That we can raid in a bit. Then we're going to first do, of course, our Dutch word of the day. So if you want to learn some Dutch language, stick around. Because we have another Dutch word of the day that we're going to go do. Um, let's spread the love to Peter. Well, he's not streaming, though. If, if he was, then I totally would. But he is not streaming. So um, that's, you know, that's, that's, yeah, that's not going to work. But I am going to spread my love to him after the stream, though. Wait, that sounds lewd, doesn't it? I think it does. Well... Whatever. I'm going to spread my love to him regardless. <laughs> um, so yeah. But I found a perfect raid target. I know who, who we're going to raid because they're awesome and super nice and cute. So we're going to go there. But before we do that, we're going to go to our Dutch word of the day. Here we are. If you clean after, then it's fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm obviously, I, yeah, I will. Uh, and we're not going to stream that, but yeah. <laughs> so chat this is what i always like to end my streams with the dutch word of the day and um yeah i still don't have any windmills i need to find a good way to animate them but i uh, i also was working on other things like youtube videos and trying to fix my obs which apparently didn't fully work so um i still need to do that but we do have some lovely dutch tulips swaying in the wind like my ears do um but yeah, let's have a look at what our Dutch word of today is. Drum roll, please. It is... To garden. Wait. Is that even a... Is that even a... Okay, chat. Is that even an English word? To garden? Has anyone ever said, Hey, I'm gonna garden today. I'm gonna go and do some garden today. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the Dutch word is tuinieren. Um, I would say that it's in English would be gardening, but yeah, 
Yes, garden can be used as a verb, e.g. gardening. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say, I would say gardening, but okay, to garden. There we go. So to garden, which in Dutch would be tuinieren. Uh, we have a sentence coming in from, from our audience. Ik knip de tulpen uit de tuin tijdens het tuinieren, which would translate as I cut all my tulips from my garden during my gardening. So, ik knip de tulpen uit de tuin tijdens het tuinieren. I cut all my tulips from my garden during my gardening. There you go. That's uh, if you ever come to the Netherlands and you're like, dude, this this garden that you have, I don't know what's what's up with this, but I'm a professional gardener, so I'm gonna help you with your tuinieren. Uh, you know, then you can can say that to a Dutch person that you're gonna help them with their tuinieren. Um, so so yeah, <laughs> there you go. Thanks so much, chat everyone for coming on by. Uh, I had a blast. Thank you so much. Um, I will be back here on Friday. Uh, Brooklyn will also be back here on Friday. Like I said at the start of the stream, I'm going to try and use him a little bit more often now because I have a feeling that, um, yeah, I just want to test some things and, and see what, what kind of works. Um, so, uh, so yeah, well, you might see Brooklyn a little bit more often. Of course, I will use my face cam as well. So if you're more like a face cam kind of person, don't worry. I will still do my face cam most likely every Monday. Um... But uh, yeah, ich schneide meine Tulpen ab. Well, that yeah, that, I guess that also works. If, if you're like, hey, I, I'm going to do that. Uh, then in, in German, I guess it also works. Schneiden deine Tulpen ab. Aber wieso schneid du deine Tulpen ab? Warum sollst du das tun? Tun. Yeah. My, yeah, my German is kind of rusty. It's, it's still okay, but it's kind of rusty. Anyway, chat. Thanks so much for being here. I love your faces. I had a good time. Great. Thank you for helping me get those two wins. Um, I'm actually glad in the end that my 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 strategy kind of sort of worked. I mean, maybe yours would have as well, but I'm glad that mine also worked. So yeah, that was good. That was good. I had a good time, chat. Thanks for hanging out. We're gonna go show some love to the cutest shorker uh, that I know, and an overall amazing friend of mine, super nice person. So be sure to give them all the love uh, as well. Because they absolutely heck and deserve it. And um, yeah, we have a raid message. I almost forgot. Here's our raid message, which is going to be, this is a delicious raid. Uh, if you are a subscriber, you can use the top one with the emotes. If you are not, however, you can use the one at the bottom and feel free to change those emotes for your favorite emotes as well. And like I said, I'm going to be back here on Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard and 11 a.m. Pacific. And we're going to continue with the wolf among us. If you want to, Keep up with me and stay up, uh, you know, connect with me outside of my streams. You can do so over on my Twitter account. The link is in the chat where you can follow me for my personal adventures as well as stream and YouTube update stuff. Or you can join the Discord and you can uh, hang out with me and other delicious people outside of the streams as well. I see my time is almost up. So chat, I love your faces. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day or night, depending on where you are. And hopefully I will see you again next stream, which is going to be on Saturday, uh, Friday. But for now, love you all, see ya, and bye-bye.